Yo, what's going on, everybody? You're watching Nick Snow by Chat Sports. I am your host, Marshall Green. Happy Thursday evening and the last late night tip of the year, I think. Uh, I think so. Last late night tip, last game of the West Coast road trip for the New York Knicks, and this is a massive game. And you'll have to get the win without OG and without Julius Randle, and without Mitchell Robinson. And I'm expecting Denver to be extremely motivated because when they came to New York just a couple months ago, you smacked them in the face, you punched them in the mouth, and you curb stomped them. You beat them by 30 plus. It was the one of the worst losses of the Nikola Jokic era. And Mike Malone said prior to today's game, they have our full attention. So I'm expecting the Nuggets to come out hot, come out ready, and playing with some pride so they don't get blown out again. Luckily for them, it's versus a shorthanded New York Knicks team. But it's a big game because the New York Knicks right now, to the surprise of Patrick Seaman, are just one and a half games out of the three seed. I've been saying all year long, the New York Knicks are going to be a top three seed. Go to the channel on YouTube, the pinned video, how the New York Knicks can be a top three seed in the East. I've kept it there all year long because that is how I feel. And I still do believe that if the New York Knicks are healthy, they are the biggest threat to the Boston Celtics. And I believe they could beat the Boston Celtics. But it starts today to try to secure that three seed. And then you're just two seeds in striking distance. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Two seed is within striking distance. 106 people in the chat. If you haven't yet, hit that thumbs up icon for me. My man Carl's in the building. What's up, man? Joey DeLuca, Ty Man the Buckeye, Asher the Gusher, Terrence Newman, Luca Suster, Maya's World, John Musgrove, Patrick Ewing's in the building. So is Will, Luis. Shout out to everybody in the building. Joey DeLuca coming in with the first super chat of the day. Shout out to my man, Joey DeLuca. Uh, I don't remember how he fixed that last time. All right, all right, all right. What's up, everybody? How we doing? A little uh, behind the scenes going on right now is our streaming software is being super whack. Is, hold on. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, try it, and it's not letting me go to any game. That's not good. It is not good, but JD coming in with the first super chat today, setting the tone. We appreciate it. What's up, everybody? Ty Man, the Buckeye. Ty Man, I just uh, shipped out your Hall of Fame boards. So hopefully, you get it shortly. But what we are trying to figure this out, I do want to tell you guys about today's sponsor because, man, if you guys are on Prize Picks already, I don't know what you're doing. Is they got a special deal going on with Caitlin Clark this Saturday? I'm taking on more than just half a point for Caitlin Clark. Um, yeah, she's gonna she's gonna definitely hit that. So I took that, and then also tonight. Uh, Jokic and Brunson, I took their demons on their points. I think they're both going to be going back and forth. I think another big game out of Brunson is heading our way because I got him more than 34 and a half, more on Jokic, 29 and a half. If you guys take this lineup, it's 20 to win 160. So make sure you guys do get involved with prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use promo code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. Get hooked up today. Ride with my picks, fade my picks, but do them at prize picks. But this one right here, this is a winner. So make sure you guys uh, check it out. I would really, really uh, appreciate it. Support the show. Support the show. Support the sponsor. Be a real one. Um, prize picks, we are lucky to have them as a sponsor. And we want to keep them around. But we need help from you guys. So please, 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 I kindly ask for everybody to join prize picks and play prize picks. Um, just like sending a super chat. It's an easy way to support. Uh, Price Picks gets a notification anytime they use our promo code, and we want a lot of people to use that so we can keep them around and we continue to grow this channel and come up with new um, new ways to show love to you guys. So shout out to y'all. 157 people in the building. Please hit that thumbs up icon. If you have liked the video, drop a me for me down in the comment section. Let's go. Team Tool is in the building. Johnson, you says the Magic are only a half game behind us. And they're up right now. Yeah, that's why it's such a big game as well. I didn't mention that. Thank you, Johnson, you for bringing it up. You lose tonight, 
and the Magic win, they're going to jump you in the standings. And the standings are going to be jumbled up for the next couple of weeks. And, you know, we'll find out how everyone's looking as we get closer and closer to the year. But it's the time of the year where you just got to stack Ws. This is where the pretenders get separated from the contenders. And I believe the Knicks are a contender. But they got to go out and do it. They got to go out and start, continue to win games. They're on a little bit of a winning streak here. Um, so definitely, definitely, definitely uh, would like to win tonight's game. It's going to be tough. Las Vegas thinks that the Denver Nuggets are going to blow them out. So that's that on that. Hopefully the Knicks can come out and get a dub, though. Kenya S., my man, coming with a super chat. We'll get that popped up on the screen momentarily. We're trying to fix our TV to them. I don't know how we fixed it last time. I don't know. I tried to get the app to shut down, but I don't know. Larry T. from Harlem in the building. What's up, man? What's up, Larry? Kenya! Coming with a super chat. Thank you for supporting the channel, brother. You got a comment, question? Just drop it in the comments, brother, and we'll 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 chop it up about it. Bodega Mayor says, "Is Deuce McBride starting?" I would assume that the New York Knicks run back the starting lineup that they ran in the win against the Golden State Warriors that featured Brunson and Deuce and Chenzo and Hart, as well as Isaiah Hardenstein. But the Denver Nuggets are a completely different makeup than the Golden State Warriors. They are one of the biggest teams in the NBA. Jokic, 7 foot. Michael Porter Jr., 6'10". Aaron Gordon, 6'10". And if you have Josh Hart at 6'5", 6'4", playing your power forward, and you have Dante DiVincenzo, 6'4", playing your small forward, you're going to be giving up a lot of size to the Denver Nuggets. So it'll be interesting to see if Tibbs goes back to that double big lineup that has Hartenstein and a chew in it, or if he continues to roll with Deuce McBride at that starting two spot. Um, so we will, uh, as soon as we get an official word on what the starting lineup will be, I will share that with you. I will share that with you. Have not gotten that just yet. Maya says, Marshall Green, what about Alex Caruso to the New York Knicks? I'm just worried about the people that are on this team right now, Maya's world. We'll talk. We have plenty of time to talk about trade targets and trade rumors. We got a whole offseason coming up. I like Caruso. I think he'd fit perfectly in a Tom Thibodeau type of team. I think Tibbs would love to have Caruso, but let's focus on the people in the building that are going to help us potentially do things that we haven't done in 20 plus years. So that's what I'm focused on. Shout out to everybody watching. Bash, he says, always watching the GOAT. Shout out to you, brother. Shout out to you. Let me know who y'all got tonight. Who's going to win the game? Type K for the Nuggets. Uh, K for the Knicks, excuse me. N for the Nuggets. Let me know who y'all think is going to win this ball game. I'm curious what all the real ones are thinking. Joey DeLuca says 28 minutes. Y'all, yep, about 28 minutes till tip off. Still got plenty of time for everybody to find their seats, get their popcorns, and get ready to go. Big game tonight. Big game. Will says Key is stopping Porter at the three-point corner and Gordon on the back door. Look, there's a reason that they're the NBA champions, and there's a reason that I think they're going to win the NBA Finals this year. The Nuggets are one of, if not the best teams in the NBA. They have one of the most fluid and hard-to-stop offenses. And you know Tom Thibodeau has been trying to find a way to come up with trying to slow this offense down. They did a really good job when they played him in New York, but they had OG and Obi playing. Uh, you're not going to have him tonight, so they're going to have to find a new way to get it done. Um, it's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a real, real tough game, no doubt about it. Johnson, you know, at what point do we let the Piston boys take Evan Fournier's place on the bench with those DMPs? They're getting close. They're getting close. Um, Alec Burks has already been maybe, like, take it out, pause, take it out, and plug it back in. I mean... There's no way we can we have to roll that TV in here from A. I don't know. I don't know. D nice in the building. What's up, D nice? Seeps is trying to get our TV set up going. We're having some difficulties with the NBA app. So give us a problem. 
Give us a uh, the problem. Give us a second. <laughs> All right, there we are. Um, I think we're good. I think we're good. Got some crazy, crazy stuff going on. For some reason, the NBA app doesn't want to work for the kids. So we're trying to get that one fixed. D-Nice sends in a super chat and says, I need Marsh in the NFL. I'm not an NFL player, brother. If I was, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here. I'll tell you that much. Um, I could spin it. I could spin it, but the NFL uh, was never in the plans for me. Uh, I'm too average. The United says Marsh be throwing darts, y'all. Look, I'm, I'm not going to say I have the best arm in this chat right now, but I'm not going to say I don't. I'm not going to say I don't. Um, some have compared me to a young Matty Stafford. Some say I kind of spin it a little bit like uh, Patrick Mahomes. But uh, look, I'm just a YouTuber. That's all I am. I'm just a guy that talks about the Knicks. That's it. John C. says, how do you feel about them saying OG is trying to break the bank with his extension? Um, honestly, you want to know what my first thought was? No shit. <laughs> like, yeah, the guy's going to try to make a lot, a lot of money on his contract extension. Just like when I get paid next time at Chat Sports, I'm going to be trying to break, break the bank. Um, he should. He should. He's never going to be younger entering free agency. His value may never be higher. But I think it's also... Like you got to worry, uh, factor in the injuries, factor in the injuries as well. Uh, he's missed time for a good chunk of time, almost every year of his career. Um, but the New York Knicks did not trade for him and give up two young pieces to just let him walk in NBA free agency. I wouldn't even be shocked if there wasn't already a nudge, nudge, handshake, wink, wink deal done, considering the Knicks. Um, Nick Shuttle manager is Leon Rose, and OG Ananobi's agent is Sam Rose, the son of Leon. So I'm sure there's been no sort of illegal contract negotiations um, between them. I'm sure there's nothing illegal going on. John Pettit says, I agree. I think the deal is done. I'm not saying it's done. I'm just saying it's not not done. Yeah, I mean, look, you trade for OG and Anobi, you know what you're doing. The Knicks are obviously willing to pay him the big bucks. Shoot, they paid R.J. Barrett $23 million. So they're, they're not afraid to pay anyone big dollars. S.O. says, Randall looking good, putting up shots in the pregame. We're going to talk about Julius Randall in our postgame show today. Reports are coming out that Randall has been pushing, um, has been pushing the Knicks to let him play. He's pushing to let him play. He knows he's going to have to play through the pain. Uh, will it happen? Dean I says, Mitch back Saturday. What do you think, Marsh? I still think we're about a week away. I still think we're about a week away, Dean Ice, for Mitchell Robinson being back out on the floor. Um, let him get a week back in practice. Let him get back into shape a little bit. But yeah, I think before the end of the month, Mitchell Robinson will be back playing basketball games for the New York Knicks. William Burton in the building. What's up, brother? My man, William Burton. He received his Jalen Brunson jersey from us here at Chat Sports today because he was the February Bang Contest winner. William Burton, my man, we appreciate you. Um, we love you, man. Thanks for being a real one on this channel. It means a lot. It means a lot. Excuse me. Juan in the chat. What's up, Juan? Will says Julius looked good on the podcast. Um, uh, It's hard to tell if he looked good with his shoulder sitting in the chair answering questions from Josh Hart and Jalen Brunson. But, um, look, he's close. Randall's close. He'll, he'll be back, I think, um, I bet Randall's back with about eight games left to go in the season. And if he's not, I don't know if he should play at all. Randall is such a rhythm player. He's such a guy that needs to be in a groove. Uh, and I don't want to see Julius Randall playing his way back into shape 
as well as playing his way back into a groove in the playoffs. That happened last year against the Cleveland Cavaliers, and it, it didn't benefit him, and it didn't benefit the Knicks. Kenya says, sit Randall until the playoffs to heal. I don't want a repeat of OG. For me, it's like, though, if he's not playing before the playoffs, I don't even want him to play in the playoffs because I don't want him to, kind of like what I just said, have to work his rhythm back and his game shape back and do that in playoffs where those games matter every single game. Uh, if he's not ready to go five games before the playoffs and get five regular season games under his belt, I, 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 don't, I don't think he should play. But I'm not the doctor, I'm not Randall, and I'm not the guy that's going to decide that. Levi's the best as what if Randall plays in the playoffs and plays bad, what do you do? I think the answer is pretty pretty obvious there. I think the answer is pretty obvious. Frank Serrano in the building. What's up, Frank? What's up, man? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Um, doing. I'm doing all right, brother. I'm doing all right, man. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing, Frankie? Will says I agree. Bashy says Randall playing last three games. Bodega says, Randall can't play worse than Bogey. You're setting the bar awfully low there. But I guess I do agree with that. John Pettit says, Hope, honestly, we never saw him in a sling. To me, that's a great sign they're holding him out until 5 to 10. Why do you think that was? Ridiculous. Me too. I don't know what we would have done. Stayed live in here to start and get the stream key in there. And I would think we just go set up the other studio and then put the same stream key in. And then once we're live over there, go over there live and then end it in here. I don't know what else we would do. Of course not. Says trucking. My man Frank Serrano, he be trucking, 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 truck him, truck him, truck him. Jay Liv says, Marsh, is there a problem? There was. Uh, we weren't almost able to watch the game, but that Superman seeps over there saved the day. Yeah, that was, that was weird. As it is official, Miles McBride will be in the starting lineup for the Knicks. Seeps against one of the biggest teams in the NBA. Tom Thibodeau is going small with Brunson McBride, Chenzo Hart, and Hartenstein. Matchups are going to be very, very interesting. Because you see when Hartenstein gets Jokic, and then it's like, who the hell did they put on MPJ and Aaron Gordon? Josh Hart's got to guard, guard Aaron Gordon. Yes. That and then Chenzo's going to guard... Porter? 6'10", Michael Porter. <laughs> I, I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. And then I put McBride on... Murray. Murray, and then Brunson on KCP. Crisis averted, though. We're good. We're Crisis good. averted. D-Nice, I wish I was in the NFL. I once had a really good arm, man. My prime passed me by so quick. Shout out to injuries. I'm just like, I'm just like a New York Nick. I get injured. I get injured, and Some I don't have good water. medical advice. My man Will coming in and supporting the channel. He's a first-time super chatter for Will. We Shout out to that. Will. Welcome to the channel. You'll never forget what it feels right, like right now. You'll be chasing the high of the first time you've busted through the seal. You've popped the cherry. And Appreciate you can now tell everybody and your boys, like, hey, I did it. Everybody did show it. Will some love. Everybody Let's drop go. a Will in the chat. Shout out to Will. He says, glad to contribute to the channel, man. That's good stuff right there. Appreciate you supporting the channel. And also, Will... With that $10 Super Chat, that gets you a raffle ticket to win our signed Walt Clyde Frazier poster. We're going to get it framed up for you guys. It's right now in a protective sleeve. It's also got two certificates of authenticity. If you send in a $10 Super Chat in the month of March, you're going to get entered to win our signed Walt Clyde Frazier poster. I think that's the coolest thing we've ever given away on this channel. I think honest. it is, too. Pitcher wasn't doing it justice, even in 
you guys seeing it over the camera is not doing it justice. Will, thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Something about the Wills and the Williams on this channel, man. They uh, they just show love. Yeah. We got William Burton always showing love. Damn Poot her. says you have the best widow speak. My mother tells me that as well. So thank you, brother. Or lady. I don't want to assume. Carl says that's a really small starting five, especially against a such, such tall team. Maybe we'll try to outrun. Maybe. Maybe. Juan says the Walt Frazier signed picture is hot. It oh, is. It's hot. And you, it could be yours for potentially just ten doll hairs. Just ten doll hairs. Tom Saunders says, "What's up, folks? Let's hope it's orange and blue, then black and blue. Let's go, Knickerbockers." Bashy says, "Tibbs was rated top five most active coaches in the NBA." What does that mean exactly? Active. Probably top five best active coaches in the NBA. In another life, Tom Thibodeau could be the best college coach in America. Oh my God, dude. Like, you, yeah. think, you think Tom Izzo is a good college coach? You know what Tom Thibodeau would do for a defensive game plan where he could put a center oh in front God. of the rim at all times? Yeah, he would, he, would, he would be incredible. Virginia might score six points in the first half. <laughs> that, was, that was embarrassing. Matt Sports says, hi, Marsh. How are you doing? Hoping to get our guys back. Hopefully, Matt. Hopefully. I think we're getting closer. I think we're getting closer. My prediction is that Robinson plays – before March ends, I think Ananobi will be back maybe Saturday, maybe Saturday. But I think he will once again play before March ends. I think Randall is looking at an April return date. April return date. As the Bang God, William Burden, coming in with a $20 super chat. That gets him two tickets to win the signed Walt Clyde Frazier poster. Shout out to William Burton. An absolute legend. May the odds be in your favor, man. Raymond says, how much for the poster? Five fifty. It's autographed though. Okay, four fifty. Yeah, exactly. It only costs us five dollars and fifty cents to get a signed Walt Clyde <laughs> Frazier uh, signed poster. Yeah, that's it, guys. It was uh we actually got it at the dollar store. Dollar tree. Dollar tree. Dollar tree. It was actually one of those things, the dollar tree that wasn't even a dollar. Oh, it was fifty cents? Yeah, I know. It was it was fifty cents, so um, yeah, no, you caught us. You caught us. William Burton, we love you. We appreciate you. Thank you, brother. Thank you. We are doing a March Bang Contest. Whoever sends in the most $50 Super Chats in March, we're going to get you whatever New York Knicks jersey you want. If you want it to be a custom jersey, if you want anybody on the team's jersey, if you want a throwback jersey, we're going to find a way to get you whatever jersey you want. Anthony Danaher holding the top spot with 10 bangs this month. He's been active, I guess you could say. And I don't want to, I don't want to discredit Dana her right now, but my man and my bet is that man Johnson U at nine. That's what I'm going with. You're going Johnson U. I'm going Ju. Ju is just as he's typing his eyeball emojis in the chat. That is my bet. Is Johnson U coming home with it? My dark horse is Nick Davidov. Davidov is a Davidov dark horse. is a dark horse. He always comes in. He tunes in from the games. I wouldn't be shocked if DeVito bangs a couple of times tonight. Yeah, he's a he's a sneaky. He's gonna like uh, he's gonna break or it's gonna be death by a thousand needles type of thing with DeVito. Danaher was not in the game last night or when they played the Warriors. Yeah, Monday. He's not here tonight. Maybe Johnson U runs away with it tonight, or Nick DeVito does. Maybe Who knows? We have a new bang leader. I am. Jules says, "What about a signed jersey?" It would be a terrible idea if we had plans to get a signed jersey for the April Bang Contest. That would be so dumb. It would be so dumb of us, I am Jules, to do that for the April Bang Contest and the playoffs. We got some stuff. We got some sick stuff in store for the real ones in April. Some sick stuff. Uh, Jay Liv says there's a song called Cherry Alive by Eve's Plum. I'll bring you to your knees. I'm not even here. I'm only in your dreams. I'm not even real. Yeah, that sounds like a good song. Maya's World says if someone sends a $5 super chat, Marshall Green and also Smitty Dog and also Allie Barefoot and also Rolly uh, should do a beer boot race. Thing is, Maya's world, all of those people you named are no longer at work. Me and Seeps are the only people in the office yet again. We're here. 
at Chat Sports HQ, still grinding out. Everybody already left. We're here, though, getting you guys the content you deserve. So, um, Giants just re signed Isaiah Hodgins. That's shit timing. Wow. That freaking sucks. Want to do a short real quick? <sighs> Give me a second here. Isaiah Hodgins is re-signing with the New York Giants, which is good news. I'm a fan of Isaiah Hodgins. It is good news for the G-Men. I don't know what to do. <sighs> Could the terms on the deal are not official? Um, Raymond Diaz says injury report: uh, no OG, no Randall, no Mitch. That is the injury report for the New York Knicks. <laughs> yes, just got to chalk I it mean, up to an L. Yeah. I'll just film a quick short. Johnson News says, today sounds like a good day to overtake the bang race. That would be such a terrible idea. That would be an awful idea. That would be an man. awful idea. be an awful idea. Watching them get warmed up right now. DeAndre Jordan, always forget he is on the Denver Nuggets as their backup big. All right. I'm just going to run in the back room real quick. All right. Well, parents aren't home for a little bit on the channel. Hey, every every ten bucks I'm gone. I'm doing shots. That's it. Hey, every ten bucks when Marsh is gone, we could bring back out the Patron on the channel. Hop in the Patron zone, as ones would say. But let me know who you guys got tonight. K for the Knicks, N for the Nuggets. Nuggets are about a nine-point favorite. Um, I think Brunson, if the, you know if he's the best player on the floor tonight, New York's definitely got a chance. But Hey, also, I'll make this deal right now. Marcia's left. We're at thirty-four dollars in super chats. If we, what do you guys think? If we get to two hundred, if somebody sends in a two hundred dollars super chat, we might boot race. We might boot race. How electric would that be if Marsh came in, and all there was was a two hundred up on screen, and I, and I'll be dead silent. I will be dead silent. Tony, it's it is just me today. Parents aren't home. Parents aren't home on the channel. Now, Marsh is going to go do something real quick for the Giants. He'll be right back. Will saying K is that way. Yeah, I mean, listen, I definitely do think um, I think the Knicks got a chance tonight. Um, it's going to be a tough matchup for them, obviously, with the Nuggets being one of the biggest and most physical teams in the NBA right now. But, you know, if the Knicks can just handle their business, like, and it becomes this, like, five-point game with five minutes left, like, obviously Denver's one of the best teams in crunch time. I mean, I would still take the Knicks' chances just because of Jalen Brunson, the way he's been playing right now. You know, the Nuggets don't really have a great, you know, point of attack uh, defender in that guard spot. So they don't really have anybody to really lock down Brunson. I like KCP. Um, he's a great defender. He's been playing his ass off this year on that side of the floor. But, you know, I don't think there's a guy in the league who can guard Brunson. And I think he might just be too physical. Low end theory saying for 200, Patrick will throw on a Knicks jersey. You know, I'll do that. We have, we have one Nick jersey in the back. If somebody sends in a 200, we'll boot race. And then, uh, and then I'll throw on a Nick jersey. Wang Chung tonight saying, yo, Patty, Orlando beat the Pels tonight. Does that make this game bigger? 100% because I believe the Magic are now tied with the Knicks in the Eastern Conference. Yeah, if they win tonight, they're tied with them. So definitely a big game. Orlando does have the tiebreaker. But also – the Knicks are only a game and a half. Knicks are only a game and a half back from the Cleveland Cavaliers. So, you know, the standings are jumbled up right now. They're going to stay jumbled up for a while. But, you know, there's definitely been separation from the five to the six seed. I mean, the Magic now have almost two and a half, three games ahead of Orlando, Miami, or Philly. Levi's, that's a secret. That's a secret. Don't worry about it. Johnson, you saying, how is Devo going to guard MPJ? 
Because you have to get underneath them. You know, when he's got these tall defenders, you know, you want to get underneath them and kind of throw off their kind of base. Uh, but MPJ is very good, man. Uh, he's been playing his ass off as of late. You know, he's just got such good size and his jumper. I mean, he, you guys will see it, obviously, tonight if you haven't. Like, he releases from the top of his head. You know, it's tough to get a contest. And if he sees a couple go in in that corner spot, I mean, he's going to really get it going. Raymond Diaz saying Monica over Malika all day. Monica McNutt is a great analysis or analyst, and she's fine too. Yeah, I actually love Monica McNutt. Um, she's she's great. She also works her ass off. I feel like she's everywhere. I feel like she is everywhere. Devo going to be in MPJ's jersey? He's going to have to. Um, this is going to have to be a rock fight basketball game. That's a word Marsh and I have been saying. Uh, we actually get it from Jason Timp. He works for the volume. But, like, these rock fight basketball games where the game slowed down, you know, it's not this up and down style that we see, you know, in the earlier stages of the NBA season. Refs are starting to swallow their whistle a little bit. Um, you know, Knicks are going to need to bring it tonight. They're going to need to get gritty. And, you know, a Tom Thibodeau-led uh, Thibodeau team, that's kind of their MO. Charlie C., what's up? How you doing? Welcome in. Welcome in. Still got about five minutes before tip-off. Jay Liv saying she's here. She's there. She's every freaking where. Yeah, no, she is. Monica McNutt's always working. That altitude difference might kill the Knicks. Yeah, you know, they always talk about that going to Denver. Um, you know, I think it definitely plays an impact, but hey, if the Knicks got title aspirations, man, might as well get some good reps in tonight. Father Wing saying, you will know tonight who's Jalen Scotch Bonnet Brunson is. Pure fire. I love that. I love that. 48 minutes in high altitude, going to be tough for Jay Hart. That's a good point, Wayne Chan. I really wonder how Tibbs is going to run these minutes tonight. Honestly, if the Knicks either get up 20 or get down 20, I wouldn't hate Tibbs kind of taking his put off, foot off the pedal a little bit. But as we got Derek. What up, Derek? Coming in with a $2 super chat. Thank you so much for supporting the show. So he says, you're – what's good, chat? Brunson on a burner. The Brunson burner. And I love it. Shout out to Derek. Everybody show Derek some love down in the chat. But, yeah, Brunson's been on a heater of late. He's averaging 40-plus points on this West Coast trip. So he's been definitely uh, playing his ass off, man. He's been definitely playing his ass off. Will showing Derek some love. Juan saying good evening. Uncle Seatman, good evening to you. Carl saying scold. Derek, shout out to Derek. Tom Saunders saying, looked into my crystal ball, 4-0 and on the West Coast trip. Knicks go, go, go. Hey, if the Knicks would go 4-0 and on this trip, man, it would be a huge win. Because we've heard other championship teams, like, you know, when they're really starting to get going, they go on the West Coast trip, you know, later on in the season. Um, it really brings the team together. And I think that's what we're seeing with New York right now. The game will be played at 5,000 feet altitude. We got this. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> You know, I don't know how much that really impacts them. It definitely does a little bit with the conditioning, but it's going to be very curious to see if Tom Thibodeau decides to play Josh Hart 48 minutes tonight in this altitude in Denver. So, we we'll have to wait and see. What percentage do you give of OG not re-signing? Uh, one. I think he's going to be back. ESPN going to go crazy tonight. Knicks win. Sheesh. Hey, man, we hope so. We hope so. Michael saying, thanks. What up, Michael? Shout out to you. Tony saying, 0. .5. What up, Tony? What up, Tony, Tony? Well, let us know. Two minutes before tip-off here in Denver. Let us know who you got down in the comments section. N for the Nuggets, K for the Knicks. Let us know your thoughts down below. Yeah, yeah, 0. .5. I, I, I agree. I agree. I don't think it's very likely. All right, I guess that's just gonna have to settle for that. That's what it is, man. F it. All right, all right. 467 people in the building. If you haven't yet, hit that thumbs up icon. And you know what? If we get a hundred dollar super chat before tip off, I'm doing a boot. F it. it. I need it. I'm off tomorrow. Seeps is not. I'm gonna enjoy pretty much my Friday night here yeah. on Nixon Out by Chat Sports. If someone sends in a hundred dollar super chat. Your name's going on the ball, and I'm doing a, be a beer boot. I'm doing a beer boot. F it. Let's, let's get the show rolling. Hey, it's for 4-0. 4-0 on the West Coast trip. Seeps told me it could never happen. Got to be big dogs tonight. Tonight's a big game, guys. 
My man Tony in the chat. What's up, brother? That's my guy right there. What's up, Tony? Tony Tone. Hello, in theory, says Knicks by eight. I hope you're right. The Bronx boy. You Italian mf -er. What's up, man? What's up, Brody? Isaiah Hodgins, back with the New York Giants. Frank Serrano in the building. It's been a while since we got a Frank bomb. Does yeah. he still got it? <laughs> Roly literally was like, bro, I haven't heard Frank on the channel much recently. Did I I'm scare not. him off? I was like, Roly, you don't scare anybody. Roly, you don't scare anybody. My man, Michael Mooch. Hope I'm saying that right. What's up, Brody? Go, Knicks! G-Men, Brock back, Hodgins, and, and, and a lineman? Who else did they bring back? I only saw Hodgins. Did I miss it? Is it someone else, too? Oh, my God. And they signed a lineman. I'll just do a video in the morning. Giants signed two players. Who the hell is Matt Nelson? Matt Nelson. Offensive tackle from the Lions. Let me tweet that out. Jesus Christ. All fucking day today, Joe Shane. You had all fucking day, and you do it right when the Knicks play? Go fuck yourself. Jesus Christ, are you not a Knicks fan? I got a job to do here, Joe. I got a job to do, and you're making it hard. I'm trying to put a roof over the, my, the heads of my family, food on the table. All day, Seeps. You had all day. He does it right when we go live. Nine eleven on the East Coast. Ridiculous. Matt Nelson. Oh, man. Poof. There goes rent for this month. What's up, Joey? Michael, yeah, I mean, come on, man. Does he not want me to do a video on Giants now? What the hell? What the hell, man? It's BS. It's BS. Shout out to my guy, Michael. Appreciate you stopping by and being a real one, hanging out with the bros. What's up? What's up? We had another super chat come in, as we already got 500 people watching. Meg, you mystic. That sounds just like something. I don't know much about basketball, but I think the Knicks. I love it. I love it. When in doubt, roll with the Knicks, and you'll be good in my book. Joseph says, but Marshall, don't get so angry. Joseph, what would you do if I said, here's $200? It's like, nope, can't have it. Can't have it. No, nope, can't have it. Thank you, Meg. Thank you. As d -Rec. What up, Derek? d -Rec. Says the game has started? Seeps, what are we doing? Seeps over here's got us 30 minutes on tape delay. Oh my god. Guys just been freaking hanging out solo watching you guys. <laughs> you guys been distracting me too much. SO says you guys want my MSG plus login. LOL, we're already a few minutes into the game. Uh well, with the way that the NBA app has been working recently, we might just need it. It's been giving us trouble the last two days. I'm sorry about that. As it's three to two, game's underway. I'm, I apologize. Game been started. Carl, shut your mouth. I'm, I'll, I'll take. I'll, I'll get that from anybody else. Not from you, Carl. It's a disgrace. Divincenzo up top drives into the lane. Reverse layup, no good. Hartenstein and Jokic battling for the board. That'll go out of bounds off of Denver. It'll be Nick's ball on the baseline. Tony. I only have it as three to two. It says we're live. I don't know what to do. Oh, no, now it's six to four. So now we're live as MPJ scores. I think we're all good now. Here we go. Josh Hart up top. 9.55 left in the first. Hartenstein has it. He'll swing it to Hart on the right wing. Hart to Brunson. He's being defended by KCP. Brunson bounce pass to Hartenstein. He dishes it into the corner. Hart, he'll take a three. Stepped out of bounds. I think we're all caught up now. Six to four. Josh Hart just stepped out of bounds. It's Nuggets ball going the other way. If you haven't yet, hit that thumbs up icon for me. Let's go. Here goes Miles McBride putting 90 feet of pressure 
on Jamal Murray. He blows by him, gets into the lane. His left hand layup, no good, but he got his own rebound, and he finished under the rim. Nick's got to be better about that. Rebounding has to be a team effort tonight. They're going with the smaller lineup. Brunson brings it up. He'll now go one-on-one -on -one versus Porter Jr. Size him up. Drop off pass to Hardenstein. He throws it down. What's up, TB? Nick's on top, eight to six. Nine minutes and 10 seconds to go. Jokic and Murray, a little two-man game. Best in the league at it. Jokic, spinning hook, good. He's pretty good at the whole basketball thing. He's pretty good at putting the biscuit in the basket. All knotted up at 8, 8.50 to go. Brunson up top, gets a screen, gets downhill, throws it out to Hart. Hart will now swing it to Chenzo. Chenzo, pump fake, blows by Murray, throws a floater up. He missed it. Missed it. Rebound by Jokic. He throws it up ahead to Murray along the left side. He'll go coast to coast and lay it up and in at the rim. No defensive resistance there by the Knicks as Murray gets an easy transition bucket. Josh Hart will bring it up the right side. Aaron Gordon guarding him seven feet off. They'll swing it around. Brunson now has it in the corner. He'll go one-on-one -on -one versus Porter. Drives baseline. Little bump. Has some room. Drops it off to Hardenstein. His push shot up and in. Seeps he's been money around the rim. That two-man game's been really, really cooking lately. Gordon here guarded by Hart. Nick's going to have to play big. Jokic up top. Hands it off to Murray. He'll turn the corner. He'll stop. He'll pop from 15, and he'll make it. He's pretty damn elite in that mid-range. Um, Knicks are gonna have to gonna have to turn it up on him. Murray's four or five from the field. He's got eight of the Denver twelve points. Hartenstein up top, looking to create some offense. He'll dribble at Brunson. Now he'll just drive on Jokic, bumps him, and he puts it up and in. Hartenstein taking it to the Oak Joker. <laughs> Ties it up at twelve. Denver moving quickly. KCP three good. Knicks didn't get back in transition. They got to do a better job of that. If you're going to be the smaller team, you can't get beat in transition. Brunson will bring it up. He'll hand it off to Chenzo. He'll swing it to the left to Hart. Hart hands it off to McBride. McBride to Hartenstein up top. Ten on the shot clock. Hartenstein has it. Looking to get it to somebody. He'll dribble it deuce. Now go at Jokic again. Spins in the lane. Fall away. Ten footer. That one's off. Too much Isaiah Hartenstein here early as Denver out and running and Michael Porter Jr. throws it down. Tom Thibodeau's probably going to want a timeout here. Denver already 17 points in this matchup. And that's exactly what will happen. Tom Thibodeau calls a timeout. My man Bill coming in with a $5 super chat. What's up, Bill? Thanks for the love, man. Says, not related to this game, but thanks for the Hodgins tweet and video. You could tell me about Nelson tomorrow. Go, Knicks, go. Um, yeah, I'm upset about it, Bill. I want to do a video for you guys. Um, I don't know. I'll just have to do it tomorrow morning, I guess. I guess I'll just have to do it tomorrow morning. But yes, the New York Knicks, they re-sign Isaiah Hodgins, and they sign offensive tackle Matt Nelson. Good moves. Well, we are at a TV timeout. Make sure you guys are hooked up with our proud sponsor, Prize Picks, number one daily fantasy sports app in North America. There is no better time to play Prize Picks as the NBA is heating up and March Madness is here. Oh, yeah. Take advantage of the special they're offering. Just half a point for Clayton Clark. You could select more, you could select less. I'm pretty sure she's going to score at least one point. Get hooked up. Prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Promo code CLNS. Support the show. Support the sponsor. Be a real one. <clears throat> this one's going to be tough. <clears throat> With no OG. No Mitch. No Randall. So, they're going to have to beat him with grit and heart tonight. Something, uh, something that they're no stranger to. Uh, they're going to have to bring it for all 48. All righty. Getting back from timeout. Well, all righty, Joey. Joey B. Manny. 
says the they're killing us inside. I don't even know if it's that. Like they're just too easy of transition buckets. We saw Jamal Murray get out in transition twice. We saw Michael Porter Jr. dunk it in transition. Like if you're going to be small, you also can't be outrun. So Knicks need to get on their horse and and just play. Like you're probably going to have to beat this team by. You're going to have to beat it with energy and effort. Energy and effort. Lee Wei Shi says, "Have get back on defense." Yeah, we got to get back on defense. Here we go. Knicks have it on L. Brunson dribbles into a double team, and he finds Hartenstein underneath, who throws it down. Hartenstein has been very active to start the last two games. He's already up to eight points. That was a career high in the last game in the first quarter. Calling him first quarter I heart now. Jokic, top of the key, creating offense. Hands it off to Murray. Murray uses the screen. Now use it twice. Gets downhill. Pulls up in the paint. Great defense by Deuce. Big rebound by Hartenstein who rips it away from Murray. That's good defense and good way to finish the possession. Brunson in transition. Drives, kicks, Chenzo, corner three, good! Tied at 17. A big DiVincenzo game today would be huge. Jokic had, will bring it up. Runs pretty much the point guard for him. He'll now throw it to Porter Jr. on the right wing. He'll get it to Murray. Murray guarded by Deuce. Uses the screen from Gordon. Gets into the lane. Throws up a crazy shot. And they're going to call a foul. And they're going to call a foul. I might have traveled on that, but. Dante DiVincenzo is now tied for second with most three-pointers made in a season. He's 23 behind Evan Fournier. Knicks have about 13 games left. I would say Dante DiVincenzo is going to break that record. Yeah. First free throw from Murray is good. As Denver goes up by one. Six hundred and ninety people watching, only hundred and sixty likes. Please hit the thumbs up icon. Let's get to two hundred likes. If you have liked the video, comment me down below so I can give you a shout out. Hartenstein will sit down. Achua will sub in. Brunson has it on the left side, guarded by KCP. He'll swing it around the perimeter. Hart will hand it off to DiVincenzo. Him and Precious now play a little two man game. DiVincenzo throws it in the corner to Brunson. Brunson jab step three. Good. He had the Jokic on skates. It's a big-time bucket by Jalen Brunson. Murray now has it. Hands it off to Jokic. Murray's going to get downhill. Drops it off to KCP. He'll pump fake and kick. Murray has it. Tend to shoot. Pick and roll with Jokic. Has McBride on his hip. He'll spin into the lane. Lay up. Up. No good. Ball's loose. Rebound by Oh, they called a foul. No way. No way. That is not a foul. Where's the foul there? Twelve likes away from two hundred likes. Hit that thumbs up icon for me. As MPJ will go to the line for Denver. That was a late foul call, man. Let the boys play. Porter Jr.'s first free throw is good. as Reggie Jackson will sub in for Denver. My guy MMF, MMF says, nice shirt, fam. Hey, I appreciate that, bro. I appreciate that. Probably goes a good day to rock, rock some New York Knicks gear. As MPJ goes two for two from the line, Denver will go up 21 to 20. Brunson will bring it up. KCP still guarding him. He'll hand it off to Josh Hart. Hart will kick it out to Chenzo. Chenzo has it. He'll put it on the deck. Gets it to Achua at the top of the key. Achua finds Brunson. Brunson has space. He'll drive on Jokic. Takes a tough falling layup. No good. Jokic with the board. He'll throw it up ahead to Aaron Gordon. Denver has numbers. Gordon drives. Kicks. Reggie Jackson. Corner three. No good. Long rebound for Achua. He'll hand it off to Miles McBride who will bring it up. 
Deuce will be guarded by KCP. Blows by him on the layup, up and in, Deuce McBride. The start-stop ability on full display. Knicks regain the lead with 4.22 to go in the first. Watch that little Brunson highlights for Deuce right there. He has been. Jokic has it on the right elbow. He'll post up Achua. Puts it on the deck. Bullies him down low. DiVincenzo with the off-ball steal. Oh, they called a foul. I thought DiVincenzo came in a blind spot and uh, knocked it away from Jokic. They're going to call contact. Seeps, last three games, the NBA has let both teams play. Yep. Tonight, it is back to a ticky-tack style of roughing like it's November. Yep. Just be consistent. Just be consistent. CPJ in the chat. That was not a foul, bro. You're 100% right. Joey, we appreciate you. G5 Wheeze, what's up, bro? Jokic at the line. First free throw, no good. You know why? Ball, don't lie. Get the BDLs in the chat. Tony already had it going. Pokey Moore says, Marsh, I need my update on the Giants. I, I wish I could do both, brother. But I'm doing the Knicks game right now. Uh, I posted a short about Hodgins. I, I, I don't know. I'll have a video out in the morning on both guys. Deal? Deal, Pokey Moore? Knicks 22. Nuggets 22. Knicks moving around. Chenzo three. No good. Rebound by Jokic. He'll put it on the deck. Then he throws a football pass up to KCP. He'll drive and kick. Gord now drives off the three-point line. His layup no good. Got his own offensive rebound. Goes right at Chua and finishes. Denver back up by two. Brunson will bring it up. He's guarded by Aaron Gordon. Gets a screen from Achua. Gordon fights through it. Gives it up to Chenzo. Chenzo now to Achua. Achua, 10 seconds on the shot clock. Puts it on the deck. Now looking to give it up. He'll throw it out to Hart. Hart gets downhill. Drives on the baseline. Reverse layup up and in. Strong take by Josh Hart. Jokic. Wasn't much defense there by Hart. Hart kind of bullied him and laid it up and in. Michael Porter Jr. puts it on the deck. Comes off the screen. Gives it back to Jokic. He's at the foul line. 10 on the shot clock. He'll get a screen from Aaron Gordon. Jokic, slow two steps. Fought, uh, wow. He's pretty good. I mean, he looks so unorthodox. He looks like a Gumby out there. Gets his own shot and cleans it up. Knicks down by two. Just under three minutes to go. Brunson up top. Guarded by KCP. Has him on his hip. Drops it off to Achua. Achua's push shot up and in. Having no centers on the floor, man, that can finish outside of the little dunker spot has really been nice to see playing alongside Brunson. Denver moving quickly. MPJ puts it on the deck once and rises up from the top of the key and knocks it down. Looks like KD right there. Brunson will bring it up the other way. He's got some space. He'll throw a laser cross court to Deuce who launches. No good. McBride can't come up with the three. Jokic throws it up ahead to Gordon. Gordon spin move step. Layup, good in transition. The Knicks did not get back again. Already given up 30 points here in the first quarter. If you're going to get in a shootout with Denver, that doesn't bode well for your chances. DiVincenzo has it up top. Whips it across to McBride. McBride now to Brunson. Brunson, one-on-one -on -one versus KCP. He'll walk him down into the post. He's got all the time in the world. Step back, two. Shot no good. Brunson wants a foul. They didn't call it. Of course they didn't. Now MPJ walks it up. He'll kick it to Jackson. Jackson, left wing. Well, be at the logo pretty much still. Now throw it to Aaron Gordon. Here comes a post up with a Jokic, and a Chew has got to foul him. That's my guy, Eric Trump, coming in with a $20 super chat. Shout out to ED. What's up, man? Let's go, Knicks. Happy Fat Thursday to all. Let's get this dub. Knicks. Greater than the nug shits. Still, F. Rolly. I think the super chat's gonna spark a run. We needed it. We needed it. Shout out to Eric Trump. We love you, brother. Thanks for tuning in. Shout out to you, Ed. As always. Yeah, we definitely do need Mitchell Robinson back. Just need some guys back. I mean, there's clearly a talent talent discrepancy in this game. Hartenstein remains on that minute restriction. You're going Precious and Jericho for most of this night versus Jokic. I mean, it's just a tough ask.
Ginger Turtle says, hello, hello. What up, what up? Valentina Official, what up? MGTOW Balance is 4-0. Oh, let's go. G5 Wee says, Seeps, are you in the building? Oh, he's here, baby. Oh, we're in the building. Raw Rich, we making nuggets. Let's go, Knicks. Rated X says, seems like they calling every foul on the Knicks. Yeah, I mean, you Brunson just got whacked by KCP, no foul call. King Ja, OG, and Mitch is going to be a nightmare. It is. It is. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see it. I think we're getting close. I think we're getting close. It's got to happen. Some March Madness news. Oakland going to beat Kentucky. No way. Swear to God. As, yeah, they're going to hold on and win. When do we start to talk about Calipari on the I hot mean, seat? He gets top recruits every year, and he can't really deliver too much. Yeah, so he had Dillian Hamm and that Reed Shepard guy coming off the bench. Are you serious? Yeah, I don't. I mean, they both played terrible, but crazy. Eight hundred and fifty people watching. Please hit that thumbs up icon. Easiest way to support the channel is to like the video. So please do so. The more likes we get, more Knicks fans are going to be in here. The more Knicks fans, the more electric atmosphere it is. It's the number one place on YouTube to watch a game with thousands of other Knicks fans. So all I ask is to just like the video. Just please do it. Here we go. Back to hoops. Denver has it up four. One thirty to go in the first. They'll go right back to Jokic. He'll spin on Achua. Hook shot high off the glass. That's up and in. That's up and in. Excuse me. McBride will bring it up as the Knicks are down six. Bogdanovich and Alec Burks has checked into the game. Brunson sits down. Bogdanovich to Chua. Chua spinning hook shot. Good. A move right there. Seems like pressure. the only quality shots the Knicks have really gotten are those rolls from Achua and Hartenstein to start. Still have 28 points, though. Can't allow 32 points to the champs. Jackson gets it to Jokic. Jokic just dominating Achua. He missed it this time. Knicks get aboard. Really physical play there. Would not have been mad if they got called for a foul, but they didn't. Bogdanovich brings it up. Spins in the lane. Fall away. 10-footer. No good from Bogey. One, one day, like, Bogey's just going to have to make some shots. Yeah. Jokic goes right back into the post on Achua. Missed it again. Rebound by Alec Burks. And the Knicks will hold for the final look of the quarter. How about a bucket here, and it's a one-possession game going into the second. Come on, Burks. Burks will control up top. Ten on the shot clock, and he's going to be fouled. So the shot clock will be turned off, and the Knicks will definitely hold for the final look now. As Lord Buddy Bear coming with a $10 super chat, said, Seeps, this is for you, brother. Uh, off topic, what do you think of my team signing Alexander Madison? Uh, I'll get to that right at the end of the quarter after this possession, but pretty pretty good move for the Raiders. Here we go. 9.6 seconds left in the quarter. I Do you bring Brunson back in for the final bucket here? Might as well. You're going to get a way better look than running a Burks pick and roll, which has looked like what they were setting up. I would too. I'm not sure if Tibbs will. He does. Nice job by Tibbs. Brunson has it right wing. He'll go behind the back. Now spins. He'll look to step through. He gets there. Bucket Whoa. good for Brunson. 32-30. Still 2.7 seconds to go. A three-quarter court heave is up, oh and it almost God. went in. It almost went in. But the New York Knicks are down just two to the champ seats without three starters. These dudes just fight, man. Yeah, they're going to fight every day. I mean, it's a, it's a Tom Thibodeau coach basketball team. We knew they were going to come out fighting. Um, it's just going to be about maintaining now. Because Jokic, he did miss a couple easy ones around the rim. But I like the way Precious came in and fought. Thought Precious got his ass kicked against Trace Jackson Davis on Monday. Thought it's been great here. Yeah, he, he did not play good against the Warriors. Uh, Jokic got a couple good looks. And then he kind of, I felt like, started taking it a little bit personal. And kind of bodied him up a little bit. Um, but Buddy Bear, Madison, I think he's going to be a great complimentary back. 
for the Raiders. Don't expect too much, um, but he's great in blitz pickup. Shout out to Lord Buddy Bear. Buddy Bear. Shout out to Lord Buddy Bear. Kentucky has not made a Final Four in nine years. Really? It's bad. Plus, how many NBA dudes have they had roll in? Like... Shout out to everybody in the building, 846 people watching. If you haven't yet, please hit the thumbs up icon and please subscribe to the channel. We're going to be live on Saturday for a matinee tip against the Nets. Yeah, the Nets, Nets on Saturday. Johnson U says we have dropped to the fifth seed with the Magic winning. If we win tonight, though, we're back in the fourth seed. Then you're only game back. Panarin with a hat trick tonight, Tony. The bread man? The bread man, Chicago legend. Tamar Bowles, what's up, bro? Tamar, that's my guy. <laughs> Better start scouting them Nova players. We need seven more to win the World Series. <laughs> I love it. Carl says, yo, where's Rich Rob and CPJ? CPJ was in here. We do need some energy. We need we someone to bring some energy. Thomas says, Eamon Thompson is nice. Is that the one on the Rockets? Yes. I was really impressed by his defense when the Rockets played. Um, I was really impressed by his length, his athleticism. He, he's going to be a really good defender in this league for a long, long time. If he could just be a league average shooter, he's going to be really good. So real 13, what's up, bro? As we'll start the second quarter, Bogdanovich three, no good. I don't, I don't know when the last time he hit a three was. Yeah. Motherfucker has been good in the NBA for ten years. He comes to the Knicks and fucking sucks. As Denver gets a layup on the other end, Bogdanovich hasn't made a three since March 14th. Right there, go. As Bogdanovich drives, Nick's moving around the perimeter. Burks into the lane, off to Jericho. Jericho's bumped, and he's going to be fouled by DeAndre Ayton. Right there, Bogey had a lane, and he's just not even looking to shoot. I lied. He, he, he has made one three since March 12th. It's Deuce gets the bucket to go. One three since March fucking 12th. How's that possible, man? As the Nuggets moving around, Murray has it right wing, guarded by Deuce. Five on the shot clock. He'll go through the legs a couple of times. Back driving to the right. Jericho on him. He'll have to swing it around. Christian Braun throws it into the corner. Shot no good. Shot clock violation anyways. There we go. 1-3 since March 12th. Like, how? Only people when they come to the Knicks suck. McBride up top, swings it to Burks. Burks to Bogey. Bogey's going to get a screen here from Jericho. He'll use it. Now he'll drive on DeAndre Jordan, gets to the lane, kicks to Achua. Achua in the corner, has Burks up top. He'll find him. Burks launches. Good! The fact that Alec Burks is playing better than Bogdanovich is a problem. Knicks take the lead with 35, uh, excuse me, 35-34 with 10 minutes to go in the second. And that's going to be an easy bucket for Murray as he drives to the lane. Burks will run the point for the Knicks here. He's up top. He'll swing it to Deuce. Deuce has it left wing. He'll get back to his right hand. Stops, kicks. Achua now throws it in the corner to Burks. Burks here guarded by Holiday. He'll face him up, size him up, beats him off the dribble into the lane. Foul! Oh, I thought he had an and one opportunity. Burks will go to the line for two. Good move right there from Burks. Didn't settle. Got to his spot, rose up, 
knock or tried to knock it down, but he got fouled. How about an Alec Burks game today? That would be nice. Burks at the line for two here. First one is up and no good. No good. CPJ, he's in the building. Carl kind of called you out, CPJ. He was like, why, why isn't he bringing any energy? I'm like, don't, don't talk crazy on my mans like that. <laughs> yeah, we don't get nice things, CPJ. Um, only Brunson. Burke, second free throw. Good. Tied up at 36. It's Murray, Watson, Brown, Holiday, and Gian DeAndre Jordan in the game for Denver. Brown has it up top. He'll get it to Murray. Murray now drives on McBride on the right side, drops it off to Jordan, and Jordan throws it down. Carl called you out, CPJ. It was crazy work. It was good, Unc. Dead. 38-36. <laughs> Deuce has it at the logo. He'll get it to Ihart on the right side. Ihart and Achua in the game as Burks will drive through the baseline and turn it over. Not a chance. These piston boys are driving me crazy. Like, since they've become Knicks, have there been two worst rotational players in the league? Brown gets it to Murray. Murray up top, guarded by Deuce. Ten on the shot clock. Pushes him right. Murray drops it off to Jordan. Then he'll hand it right back off to him. Murray's going to drive on Hartenstein. He'll have to kick, and they're going to call a foul. On the pass. So many tic tac calls today. Slowing yeah, can, the game. You 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 look at Jamal Murray and they're gonna call a foul. Carl says it's about time you showed up and showed out, kid. <laughs> DeAndre Jordan has it. Dribble handoff here to Murray. Murray's got deuce on his hip. He'll drive and kick. Watson, corner three. No good rebound by iHeart. Great closeout by Precious right there. It was. Burks brings it up the left side. He'll get it to iHeart. iHeart looking to get it to somebody. He'll find Bogey on the dribble handoff. Bogey's going to turn the corner, puts it on the deck. He's on the block. He bumps go. Murray, and he missed a point blank shot. Bogdanovich fucking sucks, man. I don't want to watch him play basketball anymore. The brother stinks. And now he's guarding Murray, and this is going to be a bucket. Murray for three. Oh, wow, he almost made it. McBride will bring it up the left side, guarded by Holiday. Beat him to the cup, Deuce. He'll drive, hands it off to Ihart. He'll drive baseline, gets to Burks, who lays it up and in. Love the off-ball cut from Burks and an awesome feed by Ihart. I think that was the first play of winning basketball I've seen from either Pistons player over the last couple of And then Burks oh. gets a steal. Knicks have numbers. And oh then Burks has God. it stolen by Murray. And Murray lays it up. Charge! Miles McBride dude? takes the charge. Or put your body on the line, kid. Why can't everybody play like Deuce McBride? All grit, all grind, all the time. Undersized, doubted his whole career, just plays his ass off. What is Burks doing? That's big stuff by Deuce right there, man. As I believe Malone's going to challenge this. Mike Malone challenges the call. The Anger Casual says, I'm buying a Burks jersey. I'm, oh, a Burks jersey? That's got to be a joke. Well, we are looking at this play. Uh, I do want to tell you guys about Prize Picks. They are sponsoring today's watch party versus the Nuggets. They got a sweet deal going on right now for this Saturday. You got more than half a point for Caitlin Clark. Take advantage. Uh, it's only going to be available till Saturday, so make sure you guys. Choose the more on that. And then also Jalen Brunson. I took his demon today along with Nikola Jokic. Brunson's got eight right now, and Jokic has seven. So I'm going to need them to get going. But, hey, this lineup was 20 to win, 160. So if you guys want to, you know, create your own, make sure you guys do it over at Prize Picks and get that first deposit match up to $100 if you use code CLNS. Support the show. Support the sponsor. We are lucky to have someone as awesome as Prize Picks support this show. And we need you guys to rock with the sponsors for, to keep them around. So I uh, just want to be transparent. 
If you want to support the show, do it by playing prize picks. Yep. Check it out. Download that. Use the code CLNS. You guys will get addicted. I promise you. Jorge, you like that? I said that in the video I talked about Deuce today. All grit, all grind, all the time. Love that. Nobody empties the tank more than Deuce McBride when they step on a basketball floor. No, nah, he, is, he is legit. Is Deuce rocking the headband? I didn't see. I didn't see. I didn't get a good look. I'll let you know once I see him again. Johnson, you says Deuce going to play 48 again, Garden Murray? He might have to. He might have to. No headband for Deuce tonight. Love the hair. Deuce is rocking like the throwback OBJ look. How is that not a charge? It's got to be. Look at his knees. They hit him first. Unsuccessful. Let's it's go. a charge. Nick's ball going the other way. Look at the NBA. Johnson, you says his NBA league pass glitchy. As Dude, it wouldn't load the game for us at first. It wouldn't load the game, and then when we finally load it in after having to do some Olympic gymnastics over here, it started us off 30 minutes before, like, we were late. Yeah. And, dude, remember, it did that last time, too. It's been terrible for us. All right. All tied at 38. Seven and a half minutes to go here in the second quarter. McBride going to get a screen from Achua, guarded by Holiday, gets it to Hartenstein at the top of the key. Hand off to McBride. McBride's going to drive. He's got Watson on his back. He finds Burks in the open for quarter three. He's fouled. Burks will go to the line for three. No more challenges as well for Denver. That can play to be a big part of this game going down the stretch. Knock him down here, Burks. Yeah, we need all three of these, Alec. We need all three of these. Burks at the line. First of three is up and in. Dude, you beat the Nuggets tonight. The Knicks might, go, the might, the Knicks might go on a big streak here. Because then you got the Nets, the Pistons. I mean, it really opens up the Raptors, the Spurs. Burks, second free throw, good. Be a big time win. 990 people watching. Please, please subscribe to the channel. Help us get to 37,000 subs. And if you haven't yet, please hit the thumbs up icon. It literally takes two seconds. You could have liked the video by now. Um, if you want, if you like the show, if you're here, just like the video. It really helps us out. Burks goes three for three from the line. Now the Knicks are up by three. DeAndre Jordan hands it off to Murray. Murray turns the corner, kicks it back out. That's going to be a deep three for Holiday. No good. Watson with the board, and they call a foul on the Knicks. It's also the Pistons boys on a little seven-minute stretch right here. They're plus five. And none of it because of bogey. No. Has he scored? 0 of 3. Burks, though, is 7 now off the bench. Actually, nine off the bench for Burks. Leading score. As Jalen Brunson and Josh Hart both check back into the game up three, Deuce McBride will sit for the first time tonight. I believe that was Ochua who also subbed out. KCP will check back in for Denver as Brown sits down for them. So the five on the floor for the Knicks is Bogey, Brunson, I Hart, Josh Hart, and Alec Burks. Reggie Jackson, he drives on Brunson, kicks it out to Jokic. Jokic at the... Nah, man. No. No, no, no. That is not a foul. Biggest dude in the arena gets a little body contact from Jalen Brunson, and it's a foul. 
But Jalen Brunson can quite literally get punched in the face, and it's not a foul. I say it all the time. You don't got to help good teams out, NBA. They're already really good. You don't got to help them out. That's a terrible call. It wasn't even like a basketball move to draw the foul. He pump faked leaning forward and then went into it. And he makes both. 41-40. Just under seven minutes to go. Jalen Brunson will bring it up. He'll get it to Hart on the right wing. Hart spins, it spins in the middle of the lane. Kicks it out to Bogey in the corner. He'll drive on Reggie Jackson. And he has it poked away. And he immediately looks at the ref and looks at his arm. Bro, stop playing so damn soft, man. This ain't Detroit. Like, I like the rip-through move by Bogey. The dude closing out on him. Sit his ass himself. down. Thank God. Get him out of the fucking game. <gasps> Another tough run for Bogey. Dante checks in. Bogey checks out. Hart has it on the block. Gives it right back to Brunson. Brunson drives in the lane. Spin away. Fall away. Jumper. Good from 14. Brunson walks into his office and says, I'm here. Nick's up three. Aaron Gordon will bring it up. Dribble handoff to KCP. Now Jokic has it top of the key. Kicks it out. KCP, corner three, in and out. Rebound by Hartenstein. Here comes Jalen Brunson. He'll stop. He'll pull for three. No good. I like that shot, though. Rebound by Denver. KCP will bring it up. Comes off the screen. Now get it back to the joke to Jokic. To Yoke, to excuse me. MPJ, pump fake, blow by, jumper, good. You're asking Dante DiVincenzo to do a lot right there. Guarding MPJ is giving up about seven inches. Nick's up by one, 5.50 to go. Brunson throws it to Ihart at the foul line. Hartenstein hands it off to Burks. Burks uses the screen, drops it off to Ihart. He goes right at Jokic. Fall away hook. Oh. Good! An offensive move there from Ihart. He's been great today. All right, up the double digits. Jokic brings it up, throws it inside, pass deflected, but it goes right to Reggie Jackson. He'll pull it back out. He's in the corner, guarded by Burks. Uses the screen from Jokic. Trying to get downhill. He'll go back to the right. Drives baseline. Drops it off to Gordon. That's going to be a travel. Nick's ball going that way. Over a 1,000 people watching. Hit that thumbs up icon. Please, 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 please. The more likes we get, the more people are going to tune in. Let's get up to 400 likes. We're 49 away. If you've liked the video, type me down below so I know who the real ones are. I am Jules. That was a tough shot by iHeart with the right hand. Josh Hart, top of the key, 12 on the shot clock. He'll get it to Hartenstein. Hartenstein hands it off to Brunson. Brunson's going to dribble, drops Good it off. Pass. Diana throws it down over MPJ and one. Big boy, no little boy. Isaiah Hartenstein stuffs it and one. Big fella. Number 55 came ready to play today. What a pass by Brunson. His playmaking has gone to a different level from the start it's, of the year to now. It's also that two-man game in Hartenstein. I mean, that was something that's only been developed, I feel like, over the last like couple of games. Seems like, you know, how the Nuggets have that go-to move of the Murray-Jokic pick and roll. Maybe the Knicks are trying to find something. They just have a go-to move in the playoffs where it's like, you know, we'll get one point whatever points per this I heart Brunson pick and roll. I don't remember who it was after the Warriors win. It was either Steph Curry or Draymond Green. Draymond said it's almost impossible to guard Jalen Brunson in the pick and roll, but I believe it was Steph when he said when they run that pick and roll with Brunson and Ihart, it's so hard because there were just shooters all around him. You had Deuce on the three-point line. You had Hart on the three-point line. You had DiVincenzo on the three-point line. Ultimate spacing, and then it's just Brunson, the guy that's guarding him, the guy that's guarding Ihart, and there's just a two-man game, and there's no help defense because Ihart has that ability to catch it and redirect the pass at a moment's notice. One of the, I'd say, the second best passing big man in this league behind Jokic. They're looking good, those two guys right there. Those two guys' two-man game has really gone to another level. And like Seep said, it's given the Knicks a go-to play that they can go and get a good opportunity and a good look at no matter what the time or situation is. Woo! 
<clears throat> Yuhu says Hartenstein better remain as the starter. He will. Tom Thibodeau pretty much said that when Robinson comes back, he'll be coming off the bench. Five likes away from 400 likes. Please hit that thumbs up icon. Also, we're up to $79 in Super Chats. Once we get to 100, I might do a beer shotgun. Might do a beer shotgun. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling some juice. I'm feeling some juice. How many assists does Brunson have? Uh, seven. Ten points for Brunson, seven assists, Carl. Brunson looking like a maestro here. Still out of TV timeout here. As Jared Jeffries is in the building. As Hartenstein's free throw's good. He converts the three-point play. Nick's up by six. Five minutes to go. Close the half here. Reggie Jackson walks it up. Guarded by Burks. He'll kick it to KCP on the left wing. Now throw it to Jokic. Jokic guarded by Ihart. Josh Hart comes to help. Throws a crazy pass inside. And Aaron Gordon lays it up and in. I mean, he wasn't even looking. He just throws it over his head like that. And Gordon bullies Brunson in the lane. Four-point game. DiVincenzo brings it up. He'll throw it to Ihart. He'll pass it off to Burks. Burks hands it off to Hart. Hart finds Brunson on the right wing. Brunson guarded by KCP. In and out dribble freezes him. Gets in the lane. Floater up. Left it short. Rebound by Denver. MPJ will push. Looking to get it to somebody. He does. Aaron Gordon. Gordon drives. Kicks to Jackson. Jackson drops it off to Gordon. And Gordon throws it back underneath to Jackson. He's underneath. Drops it off to Jokic. And he lays it up and in. Hartenstein got lost there. He never made contact. And now Tom Thibodeau calls timeout. As Johnson, you, with a $21 super hat chat, Bruns him. <laughs> they Come look on, good. You. They look good. I don't know if I could say that. I don't know if I could say that. But I definitely don't agree. No, they have been cooking, J.U. They've no been doubt. cooking, bro. They've been cooking. As Raw Rich coming in with a $2 super chat. What's up, bro? Shout out to my guy, Raw Rich. Um, you want to grab me a, a, a warm happy dad? I don't know where that shotgun tool is, but I'm going to need it if possible. I don't know if it's on my desk or in a box over there or in a cabinet. Seep said if we get another $20 Super Chat, we're racing. Seep said we're racing if we get another $20 Super Chat. 1,100 people in the building. Sub for Knicks. Dubs. If you want the Knicks to beat the Nuggets, give me a me in the comment section. Give me a me in the comment section. Joey says nice. Nick's up by two. DiVincenzo will catch it out of the inbound. Now he gets to Brunson. Brunson up top. Going one-on-one -on -one versus Jackson. Jackson. Or Brunson. Go! Oh, what a two-man game again with Hardenstein and Brunson. That two-man game has been beautiful all night long. Nick's up by four. Reggie Jackson has it on the left wing. He'll get it to Jokic. He'll have it at the top of the key. He'll get on Hartenstein. Spins. Has to kick it out. And that's going to be a catch and shoot through shot for KCP. No good rebound by Burks. Knicks back up by four. Three minutes to go in the half. DiVincenzo for three. No good. Had a good look there. We need him to knock that down. Jokic will bring it up. I heart meeting him at the block. Jokic picks his dribble up. Kicks it out to KCP. KCP inside to Jokic. Jokic jump stop. He's fouled and won. And won Jokic. As Kevin Bellotti. Let's go. We are going to get a big win tonight. Shout out to Kevin. That also gets my guy Kevin Bellotti two tickets 
to get into the raffle. Every $10 you send in this month will get you a ticket to win this signed Walt Clyde Frazier photo. And then I am Jules. He says, get me that raffle picture. That's two more tickets for him. Shout out to him. Ernest says, Marshall, I'm trying to send in a super chat. I don't know why it's not working. I don't know why it's not working. Creed! What's up, Creed? How you doing, family? Thanks for stopping by. 1,125 people watching. Please, please, please hit the thumbs up icon and subscribe to the channel. We'll do the beer shotgun race here at the next TV timeout. Eric Gordon says, G5, I like it. Better handles, driving faster, shooting more, no question. As Jokic will go to the line, try to cut this game down to one with three minutes and 12 seconds to go. His free throw is up and in. It's a one-point game. Brunson will bring it up. He'll swing it to Dante. Dante has it left wing. 15 on the shot clock. He'll get it to Brunson off the curl. Brunson into the paint. Step back. Now step through. Looking for a foul. He doesn't get it. Jokic would. Rebound, though, by Hart. Hart with the extra effort. Kicks to DiVincenzo. He blows by them. Gets into the paint. Drops it off to Achua. Achua with the strong finish on Jokic. Knicks back up by three. Gordon handling at the top of the key. They get it to Jokic. Jokic back to Murray. Murray jumper. Good. Murray knocks in the J from the top of the key. 2.20 to go here in the half. Knicks up by one. Both teams in the bonus, so every foul the rest of the way will be free throws. Brunson has it by the logo. 10 on the shot clock. Kicks to DiVincenzo. He's guarded by Murray. He'll put it on the deck. Swings it to McBride. McBride on the left side. Three on the shot clock. He'll have to hoist a three. He does. And he gets it. Miles McBride with a three. He was fouled and hit the deck, but they didn't call it. The three is good. Nick's up by three. They call it a two? As MPJ cuts back door and he throws it down. Ernest Cash, that's major love, Brody. That's major love. Brunson walks it up, 140 left to go in the half. He's guarded by MPJ. Work his ass out. They send a double. Brunson gets it to McBride, who swings it to Hart. Man, Hart's got to let that fly. Five on the shot clock. Hart for three. No good. Why pass up a, bat, a good shot to take a bad shot, Josh? Last couple of games, Seeps, for I, some reason Hart has just decided to stop shooting after it, found, it seemed like he found his jumper again. I don't know if something happened against Golden State if they took his confidence, but I mean he's not even looking for his three ball right now, and he was talking all that smack on the pod. Aaron Gordon, he'll receive the inbound, then he'll get it to MPJ who finds Jokic. He's guarded by Achua, all alone on the right side. He'll drive, swing through, kick Murray, catch and shoot three bottoms. Knicks down by two, one minute to go. Come on, JB. Come on, JB. Brunson guarded by KCP. He'll use the screen. Drops it off to Achua. Achua swings. Hart swings. McBride triple. No good. DiVincenzo battles for the board, but it's recovered by MPJ. And now the Nuggets will settle in to their half-court offense. Gordon drives. Kicks to Porter Jr. His step back three. Good. I mean, that's tough. Just like that, you're down five. Brunson brings it up. Sutter step. Gets into the lane. Lays it up and in. Good take by Brunson to cut it to three. 33 seconds to go. Takes advantage of the two for one. Great move by Brunson. That little in and out dribble. He's freezing defenders with that. Quiet 14 and seven for Brunson. Murray will cross half court. Guarded by Deuce. Comes off a screen for Jokic. And then he'll just pull it back out, and they'll look for a good shot here. Don't foul. Do anything but foul. Jokic hands it off to Murray. Murray gets downhill, lays it up. Crazy shot. No good, but Jokic with the board and the putback. Knicks back down by five. 15.8 seconds to score. Shot clock is turned off. 
Brunson will walk it up. KCP applying a lot of pressure. Now he'll sag off. Brunson eats up the cushion. He's fouled. And they don't call it. And it's stolen. And Jokic launches a three-quarters court shot. And it hits the backboard. How is that not a foul, man? I'm... <laughs> I hate being the guy complaining for a foul call. And I'm doing it way more than I feel like I want to. Brunson was just fucking fouled! I've never seen a star player who plays as physical as Brunson does get as little foul calls as he does. Because it's not like Brunson's like a Steph Curry type of point guard or a Hal Burton where, you know, they're more finesse, you know, in the open court. Like, Brunson uses his body more than any other guard in the league, and he gets no call. He was number two in the NBA in points in the paint in February behind Giannis. How do you operate that consistently in the paint and not get any foul calls? Every game he gets... I mean, right there, he literally had a dude... Hand in the cookie jar situation, rips through, loses the ball because he got fouled and nothing. Ridiculous. We had a couple of super chats roll in. Shout out to everybody showing major love tonight. We appreciate you guys. As Knicks! Galaxy! My man, my man, my man. What's up, Brody? He says, cough, cough. Mind if I join in on the fun? You are always invited to the party, brother. And you just got yourself two tickets to potentially win the signed Walt Clyde Frazier photo. Nick's Galaxy, my guy's been supporting me since day one on both channels. That's my brother right there. Shout Thank you, Knicks. man. Thank you, man. FGC Hitman with a $5 super chat. Thanks for the, rap, uh, for, the, for the love, bro. Thank you for the love, my man. Thanks for tuning in, and thank you for being a real one. We almost had a first-half triple-double from this man right here. <laughs> Must be nice when you, you get foul calls. When Brunson playing as, as physical as he does. That's a joke. Five, five free throws for Jokic, uh, one for Brunson. I guess. You can't find it? It's not like in the cabinets or anything? By the sink? Or over by the bottles? Brunson had a good first half. Um... I mean, you, know, you, you gave up 61 points. If you told me the Nuggets are going to score 122, I would have told you it was going to be a tough game for the Knicks to win. Let's see if the Knicks defense can step it up in the second half. I don't have any doubts or anything about their offense. Um, I think the Knicks can score on the, the, the Nuggets whenever they need to. What up, Anthony? What's up, Ant? Michael, we can't outscore them. Agreed. Agreed. If the Knicks are going to win this game, it's got to be in the low 100s or in the 110s. It gets into the 120s, you're going to be in trouble. What's up, Jet Life? Jenkins says, let's go, Knicks. Yes, sir. Joey says, what the F? Yes, we can. I don't know, man. Creed says, what the F is this halftime show? Uh, it looks like a bunch of people in kilts dancing around. I don't know what they got going on. I think it, it's pretty cold. 
I think it should work. I hope. We need the double big lineup out there. I don't think we do. Like, <laughs> look at this cop. Nicking around. I'm going to put you in timeout. For, just like the child you are, brother. Just like the child you are. That's what I used to do when I went, used to work at Lifetime Fitness and I um, worked in the child center. When people acted like child, a child, we put them in timeout. Um, so there's that. There's that. OG in the chat. What's up, OG? We'll pop that up on screen in a second. We're at $179 in super chats. Once we get to 250, we're doing another beer shotgun race. All righty, here we go. <laughs> oh, I haven't done a shotgun, I feel like, in a while. That was brutal. Oh. Something about that gives me good vibes, though, man. Chief D. Nice says, I'm disappointed, Seeps. How dare you lose to Marsh? <laughs> I don't got it anymore. God, everything is going wrong tonight. OG, you can't get your super chat up here. Um, uh, maybe oh, give me a little me. bit, but we'll get it. Uh, we'll get it on screen eventually. My man, OG, shout out to him. Came with a ten dollars super chat. Words, use your words. He says, uh, "We've had a few defensive relapses late, but you can see how valuable iHeart is when he's on the floor. Knicks can prove to the league that they're a formidable team tonight. Defense, let's go, Knicks." Go Knicks. OG, oh, I'm proud of the way the Knicks are playing right now. And I agree. The way that Isaiah Hartenstein the way he's played really the last two games, it just reminds you how good of a player he is. It sucks he's been dealing with that injury all year long. Because like prior to the injury, he was, in my opinion, a top 10 center in this league. And the, the data and the stats, they show you that. Um, and you're right. Like you, you laid it out perfectly, like you always do. You see the game as good as anybody I know, and you're right. iHeart has been special. Uh, he has his work cut out for him, playing against the best center, um, in my opinion, since Shaq. So he's got his hands full, no doubt about it. As Eric Golden came in with a super chat, shout out to Eric Golden. Having some issues putting Super Chats on the screen right now. I apologize. But he sent in a $5 Super Chat. He says, hiya. 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 Shout that, to him. Whoa. Good time to not be able to put Super Chats on screen. As Johnson Yu comes Dang. in with a $2 Super Chat, he says, I wish iHeart was out there every minute with Jokic. And he's got a really weird profile picture. Really weird profile pic out of JU. Really weird profile picture out of JU. Come on, J.U. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, we'll, we'll show those in a sec. It's taking a long time. I'm not going to lie. That shotgun's got me kind of turned up. I don't know how one little shotgun does that. I need, I need to be better. Sometimes it takes one. Hey, man, I'll tell you what. Best Alec Burks first half we have gotten. Best half uh, out of Burks. Seriously? You needed it. Um, from the Nugget standpoint, it's pretty simple. This dude goes perfect, 15 points, four. I mean, does Michael Porter go perfect to start games more than any other player in the NBA? I swear in these big-time games, he, he, he just cooks, man. He cooks. And the dude giving him the ball is a guy who's a rebound away from a triple-double. Tough matchup for Hartenstein and the Knicks bigs, but I think they're doing, they're doing the best they can. So, Porter Jr., 100%. Jokic, 60%. Murray, 58%. And then, you know, it, even It's this. hard to ask more of this team than they're giving you tonight. So everybody in the starting lineup for the Nuggets, except KCP, is shooting better than 60%. Yeah. No, oh, it's a tough matchup for New York. 
They don't have any wing defenders really in the game, and you're asking Dante DiVincenzo to guard MPJ, which this is the lineup that I would roll with as well, probably, I think. Um, because it's not like Pre – I mean, Precious would not – be able putting to Precious hang. on Aaron Gordon and then and Josh, Josh Hart. Hart on MPJ. I mean, I think DiVincenzo is doing the best he can. I mean, Porter. I mean, the couple, I mean, that one three he hit, he caught the ball above his head, settled, and then he did a step back, and then he just rose up and knocked it down. He's six ten, rising up, getting a shot off at almost eight feet tall. Yeah. DiVincenzo is lucky to get to seven feet on his contest. Um, but overall, like the fact you're only down five right here, like is Porter going to shoot perfect the rest of the game? Probably not. You, you know, need someone to step up though. I'm going to need, I need Josh Hart. I need a three out of him in the second half. I need more than one rebound, one assist too. Yeah. Maybe we're sitting on it right now. Hart's going to start getting active. You know, we've seen this out of him where, uh, Kind of is a little lackadaisical in the first half, then it really gets it going in the second. Yeah. It's going to come down to defense. You yeah. know, Tibbs is coming up with a defensive game plan here at halftime. Um, this first five minutes of the third quarter is going to be huge. Yeah. First five minutes of the third quarter is going to be huge going to be huge you know Denver's going to try to come out get this to double digits in the first four put them away here but if the Knicks can just maintain I guess they're out rebounding the Knicks 21 to 10 they're That's shooting also 61 percent from the field they've only missed 16 shots We've missed 20 shots. That's my guy, Eric Trump, coming in with a $10 super chat. Shout out to him. Reminder, guys, all $10 super chats in the month of March get you a ticket to win our signed Walt Clyde Frazier poster. We will spin the wheel to decide the winner of this uh, in the last game of March. Dave says, can you do Mets games? No. I do Giants and Knicks games. I can't do all the games. I already have no life. I don't even like the Mets. I'm a Yankees fan. The New York Yankees. Now batting. Number two. Derek Jeter. Shout out to everybody in the building. Eric Trump. Hart is an engine. When he stalls, whole team stalls, it seems. Let's go, Knicks. F. Rowley. I'm with you. I'm with you. Um, yeah. How about Josh Hart comes, comes out in this third quarter and plays like his hair's on fire? Yeah. How about he comes out and plays like his hair's on fire? And then Matthew Voles. My man, he says, rest in power to the people. To my friend, Cola Boy, Oxnard, represent. Don't forget your neighborhood. Salute. Salute. Rest in power to the people. To my friend, Cola Boy, Oxnard, represent. Don't forget your neighborhood. That's love. That's love, Matt. That's love, Matthew Bowles. Yeah, skinny John Carlos Stanton, three homers the other day. Matthew Valls, thank you, brother. Thank you, big dog. R.I.P. Cola. I appreciate you, Matthew. Sorry for your loss, brother. R.I.P. Cola. Uh, so, Johnson, you, do I even put it on screen for him? <laughs> I think just for a little bit. He couldn't put the last one. Ha, 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 ha. 
Johnson, you. He's, He's so funny. Ha, ha, ha. Schnazzy says, Marshall, are you into hockey? I'm really not. Um, I was born in New York, but I was raised in Houston, Texas. Hockey really wasn't a thing down there, so I never really got involved into it. And no, we do not have a Rangers channel here at Chat Sports. Just NBA, NH NBA, NFL, and college football are what we what we got. Not all teams, but we got some. Where am I from in New York? I'm from Long Island. Shout out Port Jeff. Here we go. Brunson going to bring it up. Third quarter underway. Knicks down by five. Played really good in the first half. Got to tighten it up on the defensive side of the ball. Brunson has it on the left wing. He'll drop it off to Ihart. Pass was deflected. Ihart gets it to the other heart. And then Josh hands it off to Brunson. Brunson dribbles. Beats him off the baseline. Kicks it out to Dante for three. No good. Rebound by Denver. MPJ will bring it up. He'll get it to Jokic. Jokic back to him. MPJ three. No good. He missed. Rebound by Josh Hart. Josh will bring it up the right side. Started by Gordon. Gets a screen from Hartenstein. Kicks it to Brunson. Brunson to Deuce. Deuce in the corner. Guarded by MPJ. Now get it to Ihart. Ihart hands it off to him. Deuce gets downhill. Drops it off to Hartenstein. His push shot. Good. Isaiah Hartenstein. Big bucket right there. Frankie, yes, sir. Shout out Port Jeff, baby. Murray up top. He'll throw it to Gordon. Gordon being defended by Hart. Getting physical with him. Good defense here. Gordon's going to put it on the deck. Then he'll go behind the back. Create some space. Drops it off to Jokic. And Jokic lays it up and in. That's tough. Frankie, what's up, dog? DiVincenzo gets it to Brunson. Brunson, open three. Good! Cuts the lead to two. Let's go, man. As Murray brings it up, gets into the lane, drops it off to Jokic. He'll go one-on-one -on -one here. Now hands it off to Porter Jr. Guarded by the smaller defender. He'll step through, lays it up. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Michael Porter Jr. just threw it off the backboard to himself and dunked it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. MPJ. Pump fake, step through off the glass, throws it down. Hartenstein, backdoor pass to Brunson. Brunson saves it right to MPJ. Overzealous passing there from Hartenstein. It results in a Murray block! Hartenstein, oh, they called a foul. Oh, great hustle right there, though. Uh-uh. I thought Hartenstein's block on him was clean, man. Oh, Tibbs is going to challenge. Tibbs is going to challenge. I love Tibbs it. Tibbs is going to challenge. I feel like any time Hartenstein has had an issue with a foul, Tibbs has trusted him. I feel like it's worked out. I mean, I didn't get the best look there, but that didn't look like a foul to me. Tom Saunders. Spanish Moreno says you was crazy hyped there. Ah, that was one of the best blocks of the year. As we are at a TV timeout, I'll tell you guys about our proud sponsor, Price Picks. It's pricepicks.com slash CLNS. Use that promo code CLNS, and they'll match your first deposit up to $100. March Madness is here. There's no better time to play Price Picks. They've got specials all the time for new and returning users, like Caitlin Clark at half a point. That's free bread. Take the more, pair that with two others, and hopefully you got a winning lineup. Prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use that promo code CLNS, and Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. We love having Prize Picks as a sponsor. And the only way we can keep them around is by if you guys support the channel. And by doing that, you support the sponsor. So I kindly ask if you play daily fantasy sports, do it with Prize Picks. If you don't, give Prize Picks a try. Put 100 bucks in your account and they'll match it. Give you $100. Put 50 bucks in your account. They'll give you 50 bucks. Put $10 in your account. And they'll give you a free 10 bucks. Check them out. Tobias Harris, that's mad love, bro. Thank you. Thank you for the kind words, bro. I appreciate it. Shout out to Toby. As Troll is in the building. What's up, Troll? 
What's up, troll? We're $43 away via Super Chats from another beer shotgun race where I will beat Patrick Seatman. 43 away. Mattress Mac, that one mil that Houston wins. Yeah, he always does stuff like that. He's crazy. Imagine having that bread. T2M Ray says, how you doing, Marshall? I'm doing all right, bro. Doing all right. I wish the refs would call this game a little bit more fairly, but it is what it be. It is what it be. Successful! Wow. Hardenstein said, get that shit out of here! It's so funny. Tibbs looked pissed. He still looks pissed. I, I think they... it's because that they're going to get the ball back. The Nuggets. Hardenstein meets How do you Murray call? at the top of the peak. It's going to be a jump ball. Center court. Jokic. Iheart. Iheart wins it. And oh. it goes right to Murray who pokes it in the backcourt to Gordon. And now they have a shot clock issue. It's Eric Drump trying to get the vibes going in the chat, sending a $10 super chat. My man Eric Drump bringing the energy. Who's matching Eric Drump's energy in the chat? Says, need that Knicks third quarter rally. Let's go. As Murray will throw it into the post. Aaron Gordon's going to post up on Josh Hart. He'll take a spinning fall away jumper off the glass. No good. Rebound by the Knicks. Here they come. DiVincenzo will bring it up. Gets it to Brunson. Brunson drives. He has KCP Ooh. on his hip. Snatch back. Space. Bang! KCP was moving. And Brunson was grooving. Knicks down two. Might be some ice on the floor in Denver. Had him slipping and sliding. Murray going to feature Jokic here. Jokic going to post up on iHeart. Here comes a double from Deuce. Jokic doesn't see it. Ball deflected, popping it around. The Nuggets are on the perimeter. MPJ is going to drive. He bumps at McBride. Layup good. Just giving up too much size right there. Frankie! He's matching Eric Drump's energy. That's oh. what I'm talking about. Shout out from PJ. Shout out poor Jeff. McBride puts it on the deck. Kicks it to Hart. Swings it to Hartenstein. He'll hand it off to Deuce. Deuce uses the screen, drives to the lane, kicks it to Hart in the corner. Hart blows by MPJ, floater up. No good. Ball's loose, rebound by the Knicks. DiVincenzo to Hart. Hart's got an open three. He'll take it, and he'll miss it. He's got that hitch back, too. Hart's shot is broken again. What happened? Murray going to be guarded by Brunson here. He throws it inside to Jokic. Jokic lays it up and in. What happened to Josh Hart's confidence? Jokic already has a 20-point triple-double. Brunson has it right wing, guarded by Gordon. Knicks down six. They got to get it going here. Guarded by the bigger defender. Gets in the lane. Nice Ooh. screen by Hardenstein, and Brunson lays it up and in. That two-man game has been really good. It's also so crazy. You got your guard posting up, and your center comes and sets him a screen. As Aaron Gordon will control, now gets it to Jokic at the top of the key. Hands it off to MPJ. He'll throw it back to Jokic. Jokic, oh, the ball movement by Denver. KCP3, wow. good. That's a clinic of how you move the basketball. Championship play right there from Denver. The ball will always move faster than the defense. And Denver just put on a clinic. DiVincenzo, top of the key, gets it to Iheart. DiVincenzo gets it again. He'll pull up from the foul line. Shot good. Love Big it. time bucket there by DiVincenzo. Five point game, just under seven minutes to go. Jokic will bring it up, give it to Murray. Murray uses the screen from Jokic, puts it on the deck, drives by Deuce, and lays it up and in. No defense by the Knicks. Not going to outscore this ball club. Not going to outscore him. DiVincenzo, three. Terrible shot. Why are we jacking up threes in the first five seconds of the shot clock? Now Jokic will bring it up. He'll throw it to KCP. He'll drive. Swings back to Jokic. Jokic kicks it out to Murray. Settle into your defense here. Ten on the shot clock. Two-man game for Murray and Jokic. 
Jokic now has it on the left block, guarded by Ihart. Here comes a double from DiVincenzo. Leaves Murray open. He leaves Porter Jr. open, excuse me, and he makes you pay. Great I ball. think the Knicks are overhelping a little bit here. If Jokic is going to go get 50 on Ihart, let him get 50. But let's I not agree. give open shots to Porter Jr. and KCP and, 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 and Gordon. Like, if, if Jokic scores 50, I'll go down like that. I'm not going down with these motherfuckers getting open three after open three. I mean, Porter Jr. has got 22 points on 9 of 10 right now. Dude's the baller, man. It's the same thing like last year's seeps with Jimmy Butler. Butler is always going to make the right pass. Yeah. Jokic is always going to make the right pass. And it's even more amplified with a guy like Jokic because, I mean, if you overhelp, then you're not just guarding MPJ one-on-one. -on -one. You're guarding him one-on-one -on -one with a late closeout, just giving him such an advantage. I mean, even right there. I didn't even think the Knicks were poor in rotation, but you're still in rotation. You got a 6'10 dude who releases it from about 7'2 on his jump shot. It's just tough. And Jokic has 20, 11, and 11 right now. Obviously, the Nuggets are a very tough team to guard, especially this time of year. But I just, I just would have wanted a little bit better execution from the Knicks tonight defensively. Like, if you're just going to allow open three for, you, for Porter, an open three for Murray, an open three from KCP, that's death by a thousand needles. Yeah. There's a reason they're the champs. I get it. <clears throat> it's just you're making it easy for him. Yeah. You're literally playing into the style that Jokic wants to play. Yeah. He wants to pass the ball. And maybe, listen, it would be different if you had OG flying out to the Porter Jr. Said he got DiVincenzo, Hart, and Deuce. Tell you what's so crazy, like Jokic, it's just like, I mean, the dude's 8 of 12. He's got 20, 11, and 11. And like, it doesn't, like, it feels like he's dominating this game, but like, I don't know, man. It's just, it's just crazy how impactful he is. Like, Jokic is more than capable of go getting 50. But I'd rather them beat me with their best player doing what he's second best at, which is scoring. He's best yes. at passing. Take away, just like Bill Belichick, he makes you beat them with your right hand tied behind his back. You're, it, it, you're feeding into the way they want to play. And he would kill Precious, no, no doubt. As Brunson's at the line here. Brunson's first free throw is no good. Game has fallen out of the Knicks' favor here as Brunson makes the second. It's a nine-point game. Murray will bring it up. Deuce guarding him. He's at the logo with 15 to shoot. Murray trying to work. Good D by Deuce. Gets it to Jokic. Jokic passes it to a cutting Murray. He swings it to Porter Jr. He blows right by DiVincenzo. They call it travel. Call it travel. Knicks ball going the other way. As Brunson will control for the Knicks on the other end. They'll get it to Hart. Hart back to Brunson. Brunson gets the off-ball screen. In and out dribble. Freezes the defense. Kicks it to Deuce. Deuce to Hart. Hart to Dante. Dante to Brunson. Brunson in the corner for three. No good. He rushed it. 
Rebound by MPJ. He's out and running. Iheart's jogging back. Brunson's jogging back. Don't love this from the Knicks. There's Deuce now doubling. Knicks are in rotation, and they get back. Now settle in. Ten on the shot clock. They're going to post up Jokic. Hardenstein pokes it away, and it's going to go out of bounds off the Knicks. The Nuggets will have ten seconds to shoot after throwing it in from the baseline. KCP will throw it in. He gets it to Jokic. Achua subs in for Hartenstein. And Nicole Jokic misses the point blank shot. Thank you for not doubling and leaving someone wide open on the three that shoots better than 40%. McBride now up top, guarded by Reggie Jackson. He'll get it to Achua. Achua trying to get it to Brunson off ball. He has him. He had get it to him. Brunson's going to drive. He's bumped by KCP. A lot of contact, but no call, of course. Brunson in the post. Left hand push shot. No good. Rebound by Jokic. He'll bring it up himself. And he walks it to a right down in the lane. He lays it up. Missed it again. But Aaron Gordon with the rebound. But a block by DiVincenzo. Deuce McBride out and running in transition. He's fouled. He'll go to the line for two. Love it. What do you do the last two possessions? You say Jokic go score. And he missed it. He ain't going to miss a lot. But let's not just give him someone wide open to pass the ball to. He's the best passing big man of all time. Don't let him do what he loves to do. He might, I mean, he might be a top five passer of all time. McBride at the line for two. Could cut it to seven with four and a half to go in the third. First free throw up and in. Big shot deuce. Come on, man. Let's close this quarter. McBride, second free throw. Good. Let's get a stop score stop right here. Reggie Jackson will bring it up right to Jokic at the top of the key. Josh Hart and help D. Gordon will drive on him. Gets to the lane. Reverse. What Blocked. Team? Stolen by the Knicks. Brunson comes up with the loose ball. He's got his head on a swivel. He'll bring it up, gets the screen, has some space, drops it off to Achua, who goes up and misses the layup. Rebound by Denver. Reggie Jackson's out and running. He'll drive on DiVincenzo, spins, layup, good. Brunson's got to be better, man. He'll bring it up in transition, kicks it cross court to Chenzo, his three. No, oh, he made it! Let's go! That looked way off, but it falls. Knicks cut it to six. Let's go. Stop, score, stop. Get back in this game. Six-point game, 3.30 to go. You're right there. As Aaron Gordon will handle at the top of the key. Key gets a screen from Jokic. Good cut off D by Hart. Now they're going to feature Jokic top of the key. Guarded by Achua. Swings it to KCP. I'm going to be honest, that's terrible defense by Brunson. Why are you not deny? He missed it, but the Knicks get a rebound. Uh, process over results there, though. Brunson off the screen. Walks into a triple. No good. He's been off this quarter. I don't, I don't remember the last time he made a shot. Aaron Gordon throws it up to McBur... Oh, my gosh. MPJ lays it up in transition. Brunson off the screen. Throws it out to Dante. He'll blow by Jackson, and he's fouled. The stat you have in there for Brunson from halftime, what was he shooting? Six of 13? Yeah. So six of 13, he's now nine and 19, so he's three for, I guess. I don't know. I just feel like, I don't know. Jalen Brunson will go to the bench with 2.40 to go. Achua hands it off to Bogey who checks in. Bogey kicks it to Hart. Hart's got it left side, now throws it to Achua. Achua back to Hart. Hart's going to come off the screen, gets into the lane, finds Burks in the corner, and his shot's knocked out of bounds. Shot clock violation. 
Josh Hart needs to get back to being an aggressive shot taker when Brunson's he in, does, out dude. and he's in. I mean, like, seriously, something happened in that Golden State game. I don't know if Draymond, like, zapped his confidence by pretty much ignoring him, but, I mean, the dude can shoot. Shoot the ball. McBride, oh, Jackson blows right by McBride, goes right at Hardy, missed it, and they called a foul. How is that a foul? How is that a foul? Bad Josh Hart game. I mean, he's got two points, two rebounds, and one assist. That hasn't really felt his impact. He's also missed his last eight threes. Eight-point game, under three minutes to go here in the third. Josh Hart just doesn't seem to be engaged today. No. No rebounds, no extra effort plays, uh, not even looking at the rim when he catches the ball. Knicks need him to be better. He takes a seat here. Maybe he's just exhausted. Burks kicks it to Achua. Achua to McBride. Knicks down two, 10 here. Two minutes to go. McBride drives, kicks Achua straight on three. Good! Big. That's a big-time shot by Precious Achua. Come on, Precious. Seven-point game. How about a stop, a bucket, and a stop? Jackson off the screen. Drops it off to Jokic. He walks into a wide-open 15-footer, and he missed it. There's Rebound stop, by baby. Achua. Almost like when you stop doubling him, he has to score. Not saying he can't, but he can definitely pass and to open three-point shooters better. Bogey drives. Pass stolen. This fucker dude, sucks. He, he stinks. Dude. He should be cut. Get Bogey off my fucking basketball team, you sorry fuck. And he gets beat off the dribble by Christian Brown. Holy shit, this brother sucks. Turns it over and then gets beat on the other end. Cut this scrub. He's Evan Fournier from Croatia. Alec Burks, right wing, gets a screen, drives baseline, floater up. He airballed a layup. This man just airballed a layup. Nick's down by nine. 50 seconds left in the quarter. Look at Bogey. He is Jokic is the next one. Defensive three seconds in the key. I mean, Bogey has only played nine minutes so far, and he has impacted this game so negatively for the Knicks. Jokic knocks it down. Back to 10. Yeah, that Pistons trade was terrible. Call it like it is. Didn't trade fucking Quentin Grimes for Donovan Mitchell, and you gave him up for two of the worst players in the NBA. Reggie Jackson pulls up from 12. Shot no good. Rebound by Sims. Alec Burks will bring it up. 30 seconds left in the quarter. About an 11-second shot clock. Game clock difference. Burks drives. Terrible fucking shot. Hunting for a foul. Man, those Pistons boys suck. Those Pistons boys suck. That motherfucker sucks. As... Knicks foul, Reggie Jackson. They had one to give. 11 seconds left in the quarter. Leon Rose made some good moves. He's also made some moves that make you go, what the hell? I mean, that is a what the hell move now. Evan Fournier, 72 million. What the hell? Derrick Rose, $50 million. What the hell? Trading for Boyan Bogdanovich. What the hell? Bucket good for Jokic. And the Knicks are going down 12 to go in the fourth.
he has made one three since March 12th. It's March 21st. I don't understand how he's so bad. I don't understand it. Like, Boyan Bogdanovich, prior to being traded for, to the Knicks, was averaging 20 points on 47% from the field and 41% from three on seven and a half attempts. He's shooting 33% from three with the Knicks. He hasn't shot 33% in his career. Ever! The worst he ever shot from three was 35%. That was his rookie year! He's fucking us. Boyan Bognat Bogdanovich in the last one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boyan Bogdanovich has shot below thirty-seven percent from three and thirty-six point seven percent in his career from three two times. One time right now, and one time the first year in his NBA career. What happened? He's never gotten easier looks in his life. He's quite literally like the eighth option on this team. He plays against other backups. How is he so bad? Cut his ass and move on. Doesn't deserve to be a part of this fucking team. Fourth quarter, here we go. Shot to Wilfredo for the super chat. Knicks down by 12. Murray drives, kicks. Brown open three. No good. Rebound by McBride. It's pretty close. If we can't beat them, if we can beat them. It says a lot considering who we have available. Let's go Knicks. Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. I like the fight they're showing. But man, I'm just disappointed in Boyan Bogdanovich. He's been a horrible basketball player since joining this team. Knicks move it around. McBride swings it to Burks. Burks going to drive on Murray. Step back shot off the side of the fucking backboard. They should never take their key card, take their jersey, send it to fucking Hong Kong, and never let them play basketball for the New York Knicks again. Murray's going to post up McBride here. Spins layup. No good. Rebound by Sims. Good defense by Deuce. Alec Burks in the corner, gets it to Sims. Sims back to Burks. Burks three, good. Lead cut to nine. Oh, are you serious? That's Siri after I said, are you serious? As Danny McGrath. Bang, bang. As Holiday's three is no good. Rebound by the Knicks. Danny, I'll get to your message in a second, brother. As Burks drives, layup block. He's fouled. Burks is going to the line for two. That's right. Danny McGrath, where have you been, my man? Good to see you. I'm glad you're still alive. And we love you. We love you, brother. He says, keep your head up. Things could be worse. New York Knicks, fight your hearts out in the fourth. Everybody drop a DM in the chat for me. Everybody drop a DM in the chat for Danny McGrath. He's an absolute legend, man. Danny effing McGrath. Good to see you, brother. I was worried where you were. I thought something happened to you. Everybody show him some love. That's a legend right there. Alec Burks at the line. Free throw. Missed. Did he miss both? Uh, no, Made the first, missed the second. He said he emailed, I will get to it after the game, Danny. I will get to it after the game. I hadn't seen it. I apologize if I missed it. 
Murray drives, kicks inside to Jordan. Stole it by the Knicks. Seeps, they can cut it to five here. Sims gets it to Burks. Burks inside. He'll pull it back out. Kicks it to Achua. Achua to Bogey. Bogey not even looking to shoot. Kicks it to Deuce. Deuce oh! for three. Good. It's a five-point game. Let's go, Knicks. Here we go, Deuce. It's loose. The Deuce is loose. What a shot. He's rising up with so much damn confidence now. Evan Porterman, what's up, man? Bogey didn't even look to shoot. What the fuck is he out there? He's got no confidence now. If someone matches Danny McGrath's $100 super chat, we're going boot racing. Let's do it. We're going boot racing. If someone matches Danny McGrath's $100 super chat, we're going boot racing. Who's got his back? Who's got Danny McGrath's back? He's had our back all month. And if you send a $100 super chat, you get your name on the ball just like Danny McGrath. Well, we do go to a TV timeout. I got to tell you guys about our proud sponsor, Price Picks. Go to pricepicks.com slash CLNS. Use that promo code CLNS. And Price Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app, will match your first deposit up to $100. March Madness is here. There's no better time to play Price Picks. They have new deals, or awesome deals, excuse me, for new and um, new users as well as returning users. Like Caitlin Clark at half a point. That's free money. That's free money. Jalen Brunson? Are we ever close? No? It's at 22 right now. So 22, a fourth quarter from, from hell would be needed. Jokic's class crashed. Uh, cla crash, crash. Check them out. Prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Promo code CLNS. They will match your first deposit up to $100. Price Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app in North America. Check them out. That link will be clickable down in the comments and description. As this one's rolling in from Danny McGrath Bang! Tony said El Mayo, he's got his own back. I want someone to have his back, though. We can't just have him going out there fighting the freaking war by himself. Let's go. Danny Effin McGrath, D. Murda in the building, a legend here at Chat Sports on Giants now, on Knicks now. What a legend. As Mr. Davis says, DM, glad to hear from you. People have been asking, where's Danny McGrath at? I'm glad he's back. Better than ever. And, and I'm going to be honest, after he sent in that first super chat, Nick's made a little bit of a run. Yeah, no, no doubt. I think so. It was either Seal. I think. I am Jules sending a super chat. We'll get to that next. I am Jules. Sorry about that, brother. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Murray has it up top. Good defense by Deuce. We'll get it to Watson. Watson's going to drive on Achua. Great defense by Precious. His layup, no good, and they called a foul. They called a foul. As I am Jules coming in with a two five dollar super chat. A three one on the West trip without OG. Only L is to the champs. I'll take it. Psych. <laughs> Let's get this win. Hard unlock. JB unlock. Let's go Knicks. That just fired me up, Jules. Psych. That's the wrong number. Psych. Has anyone got Danny McGrath's back? Don't leave my guy hanging like that. Come on now. Don't leave Danny McGrath hanging. Brian says, Danny, the pipes are calling McGrath. Someone get Danny McGrath back. As the second free throw is good, Knicks are down by seven with 9.30 to go. It's Deuce, it's Precious, it's Burks, it's Sims, and it's Bogdanovich. Burks gets it to Bogey. Bogey right back to Burks. Burks, pull up three. No good. Achua battling for the board. And they're going to say it's out of bounds off the Knicks. What up, Bank? Seven-point game. How much longer can you play without Brunson? Murray will bring it up. He gets a two. 
Porter Jr. on the cut. He'll bring it back out. He's got Jericho on him. Move your feet, Jericho. Hands high. Step back, Jay Porter. No good. Rebound by Achua. Come on, man. Come on, man. McBride will bring it up the right side. Gets it to Bogey. Bogey for three. Good! Boyan Bogdanovich, welcome to the game! Four-point game! Let's go, Knicks! We needed that, Bogey. Murray off the screen, guarded by Deuce. Step back, Jay, no good. Rebound by the Knicks. Here we go! Burke's bringing it up. Gets it to Bogey. Bogey to Achua. Achua drives out to Burks. Burks now drives, lays it up, and in! It's a two-point game! Let's go, Knicks! Timeout, Denver! Timeout, Denver! Timeout, Denver! Woo! That's how you play basketball! Holy shit! That's how you do it! Oh! <laughs> this one's rolling in from Seal Pasito Bang! Bang! Seal Pasito! A hundred dollar super chat. Bang, bang. I can't do the boot right now. Save the boot. We'll do it after. Maybe next TV timeout. A seal. Effin. Pasito. There's a reason he's a member of the Knicks Now Hall of Fame. Shout out to Pasito. He says, you guys deserve it. Bottoms up, Danny. Let's go. He says, Danny McGrath, I got your back. Everybody drop an SP in the chat for Seal Pasito. A longtime watcher of New York Knicks Now by Chat Sports. Seal Pasito, we love you. We appreciate you. We're lucky to have you as a faithful subscriber of this channel, my man. Seeps, we got a fucking ball game, no, dude. No, we do. Out of nowhere. Tell you what, the, the Pistons boy says the two highest plus minus on the night. Both have plus. Close plus. the deal! Close the deal! Let's go steal one. Come on. As Tony, Tony Tone. Dommy. With a $10 super chat. He says, get this entry to my guy, Joey. Let's go. That's mad love. Shout out to Tony. Remember, every $10 super chat you send in this month, you're going to get a ticket in our raffle to win this signed Walt Clyde Frazier poster. And my guy, Tony, he's showing mad love to Joey. Oh, my gosh. This one's rolling in from Brian Fitzgerald. Bang! Bang! A hundred dollar super chat. A first time super chatter. One second. Porter Jr. shot. Oh, shot. he hit the back iron. Shot back up and went right back down. Big time bucket for Porter Jr. Because I don't always super chat, but when I do, Hall of Fame. The Irish Mafia got Danny's back. That fires me up, man. That fires me up as Bogdanovich turns it over. Oh, they called a kickball. Thank God. First time super chatter, Brian Fitzgerald. <laughs> my man, my man. Brian, All right. you're going on the ball, brother. You're going on the ball. If you've never sent in a $100 super chat and you do, you get your name on the ball. Get your name on the ball. Uh, don't show. Oh, yeah, fuck it. It says you retracted the message. I don't know if it went through, but Ben Little, if you meant to send a super chat, thank you. If not, um, it's all good. It's all good. Brian Fitzgerald wow. out of nowhere. Brian effing. Can everybody give me a BF in the chat? 
Can everyone give me a BF in the chat? As, do I do it now? Next TV timeout, I'll, I'll write it on the ball. As Jalen Brunson walks to the scores table, they're not letting him sub in. Mike Malone being a D-bag. Lord Buddy Bear says, things going crazy with Supers remind me of the Raiders. It'd be so stupid if Buddy Bear did that on this channel. KCP off the screen. Kicks it out to Jokic. Jokic for three. No. He'll put it on the deck. Spins in the lane. Traveled his ass off. You know they ain't calling that. Layup up and in. Knicks back down by six. 7.20 to go. Come on. Come on. Hardenstein. Top of the key. Gets it to Bogey. No. He's faked the pass. Now he gives it to Burks. Burks and Ihart. Two-man game. Drop off pass. Hardenstein inside to Achua. And it's going to be ripped away by Gordon. And we got a jump ball coming. Got a jump ball coming. Brian Fitzgerald, you're going on the ball, brother. Then Ben Little came back with the $10 Super Chat. Ben Little! The trade for the Pistons boy was a good move. Stick with it. Let's go, Knicks. Hey, stay optimistic, man. We need him in the offs. I, I hope you're right, man. I haven't heard. I haven't seen it worth it yet, but I hope you're right. I hope you're right. They've made some big shots this quarter. Here we go. Jump ball controlled by Murray. Murray's going to drive coast to coast. Oh and my one. God. And one. And one. What a finish by Jamal Murray. Did he wait too long to go to Hart and Brunson? Would it get down to two? Was it 86? Yeah, it was 90 to 88. 90 88. Denver on a 7 0 run after Murray makes that. It means let's go Knicks, Danny. It means let's go Knicks. Come on. Knicks down nine, seven minutes to go. Brunson into the game, gets to I Hart. He throws it out to Hart. Hart's going to rip through and drive. Lose his dribble, but relocates to an open. Burks for three. Oh. In and out. No good. Hardenstein with the board, and he's fouled. I Hart will go to the line for two. Playing his ass off again tonight. Brian Fitzgerald, brother, welcome to the New York Knicks now ring of honor. Ring of honor, brother. Thank you for being a real one. Also, Fitzgerald and Ben Little, y'all are both getting tickets into the raffle for the signed Walt Clyde Frazier photo. As the first free throw from iHeart is good. iHeart misses the second. Oh, boy, he walked out! They don't call it. iHeart misses the second. And here comes Denver. How about we show the game? Aaron Gordon, top of the key. They're trying to post up Murray. Now he comes off a double screen. He's got a full head of steam. Drops it off to Jokic. Jokic lays it up inside. No good. Rebound by the Knicks. Brunson has it. And then he loses it. Recollects it. Gets it to Deuce. Deuce is going to drive through. Back to Brunson. He had a three. Didn't take it. Gets into the lane. Now Burks for three. Good! Alec Burks off the feed from Brunson. Knicks cut it to five. Plenty of time, six minutes to go. 15 off the bench for Burks, or 18. 18 for Alec Burks. What do you say? Jokic, one on one versus Ihart. Walks him down. They're going to say foul on the ground. Foul on the ground. Ben Little coming in with another 10. Ben Little back again with another $10 super chat. Two tickets to the signed Walt Clyde Frazier photo. Says, nice. Or as Murray, layup, no good, ball loose. 
Rebound by Denver. Murray goes right into the post. He's guarded by Deuce. Spins baseline. Blocked! Rebound by the Knicks! Here comes Jalen Brunson! He's going to go all the way into the paint. Off the glass. He oh smoked it. God, Brunson missed a point blank layup. Jokic throws it ahead to Murray, who drops it off to Porter Jr. and throws it down. And there's a foul away from the basket, so it's an and one. Brunson was fucking whacked on the other end, and they didn't call it. That foul... Oh, happened first. way before the dunk. The foul happens way before the dunk. Waiting on the call here. There's nothing from the official. We're just staring at Tom Thibodeau's bald-ass head. They're going to review this to see when the foul occurred. It's right there. That's a foul. The foul is way before the yeah. dunk. If anything, it should be side out of bounds, ball Denver in the front court. Oh, my goodness. As this. They're calling a clear path foul. Oh, they're reviewing it. As Danny McGrath. Bang! Bang! Another $100 super chat. From Danny McGrath. I thought clear path had to be, like, it couldn't be that far down the court. Says Irish forever. Call the pipes now. Let's win. Heart. Everybody give me a DM in the chat, man. Danny McGrath cooking with grease. Seems like every time Danny McGrath super chats, we go on a little bit of a run. Yeah. Every single time. D Murda, we love you, brother. We love you, man. You know that. You know that. As Ben Little says, nice. This is literally my fourth super chat ever. Love watching your live streams. Coverage is unmatched. Burks, bang! Bang. <laughs> ben Little, thank you, brother. Shout out to D Frickin' Murda, man. D Murda. So what's what's the call on the on the queer path? I thought queer path couldn't happen unless. It was like, I don't know. JC in the chat says, is this a joke? 23% Nuggets. Nuggets full squad beats everybody. Except when you played your full squad against our full squad in uh, January and we beat you by 38 points. You must have forgot about that, JC. They're still looking at the monitor here. Brian Fitzdaniel, Fitzgerald says, oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes. <laughs> the pipes. D. Murda, J.C. over here talking out of the side of his neck. That was one game earlier in the season. It was January. It was two months ago. Season's been going on since before Halloween. Do you not know what the word early in the season means? Still waiting the ruling on the call here. It's been the longest review of the year. What are they doing? They're looking at a monitor, seeing if it's a clear path foul or not. Bro, speak! So no clear path. They're calling it a transition take foul, which means Denver will get one free throw in the ball side out of bounds. Not the worst case scenario. Murray at the line here, trying to make it a six-point game with 5.25 to go. Murray's free throw is up and in. Denver up by six. 
not clear path. They called it a take foul. I don't understand even now that's a take foul. Like, he thought he was going to shoot, so he fouled it. Whatever. Murray up top off the inbound, guarded by Deuce, gets it to Jokic. Jokic, right wing, guarded by Hartenstein, kicks it out to Murray, back to Jokic. One-on-one, -on -one, 10 on the shot clock. He spins baseline, Hartenstein's on his case, forces him into tough shot, fouled in one. What a shot. That thing hit the top of the backboard and fell in. That's why he's a two-time MVP and the best player in this league. Where's the foul? He gets a lot of calls, man. Where was the foul? One day I hope Jalen Brunson gets the fouls Nikola Jokic does. I hope one day he does. Free throw good. Nick's down by nine. I mean, he, he was barely touched. I thought we were calling the game tight now. I didn't know we were going back to November rules. Deuce brings it up, gets downhill, and he turns it over. Oh, Josh Hart gets it back. He'll drive across the floor. Then he'll find Ihart, who's looking to get it to Brunson. He'll just drive. Ihart lays it up. He's fouled. He'll go to the line for two. Ihart going to the line for a pair here. Chance to cut it to seven with five minutes and one second to go. If OG played, we would have cooked their ass. We're down three starters, and, and it's a close game. Hartenstein, first free throw, good. Makes the first, second one, also in. Two big free throws there. Seven-point game, how about a stop and a score, and it's three. Stop and score, and it's four. Let's go, Danny. Let's go, Danny. Murray brings it up, gets it to Jokic. Jokic got to post up. Hart comes with a double. He doesn't see it. He splits it and lays it up and in. Josh Hart, man, if you're going to double, double harder than that, son. You got to come harder than that, son. You've been playing soft all game. Has he made a play yet? Runson guarded by KCP. He'll drive. Drops it off to Ihart, who kicks it to Burks. Burks open in the corner. Didn't take it. Then he has it deflected away off his leg. Can we get Dante DiVincenzo in the game over Alec Burks, please? Can we please get Dante in the game over Burks? Good thing he went to it as they're already down nine. Burks out, Dante in. Murray is going to drive on Brunson. They'll walk him down in the post. Kicks it out to Jokic. They're going to relocate. Good defense by Brunson. Brunson doubles Jokic. Ball deflected. Stolen by the Knicks. Josh Hart has it. He'll go all the way. He lost his dribble. And then he has it stolen. Bro, this is the worst game I've seen. Josh play. Hart is playing the worst game in basketball this season. Good thing your podcast dropped today, brother. MPJ open three. No good. Rebound by DiVincenzo. Brunson brings it up the left side. Go to Brunson. Brunson into the lane. Takes the contact. Layup. Good. If Josh Hart could give you anything. He's got three points, two boards, and an assist. I mean, right there on the fast break, he's... He he's lost just, his dribble twice. He's got no confidence. Seven-point game. How about a stop here? How about a stop? Murray up top, guarded by Deuce. Here comes a screen from Jokic. You know they go to this two-man game. Murray drives, bounce pass, Jokic layup. No good! Out of bounds off Jokic! They're going to say out of bounds off the Knicks. I'm Thibodeau going to take a timeout here. It's games like this, man, that just piss me off with Josh Hart. He is so much better than this. He is so much better than this. 33 minutes, him having two points, two rebounds, and an assist. It's a cardio night for Josh Hart. It is. I mean, you're having Hartenstein give you 18. You got Burks giving you 18 off the bench. Brunson's having an okay night for his standard, and you're already out three starters. You know, with Josh Hart playing like this, you're necessarily out four.
Sprigg, he's doing way more than not just rebounding. He's doing way more. He's not creating assists. He's not creating steals. He's not making shots. He's turning the ball over. He's getting cooked on defense. He's having a really bad game. He's having a really bad game. Seven point game, 315 to go. Seven point game, McGrath. Let's go. Can they get it done? If you want the Knicks to win, give me a me in the chat. If you want the Knicks to win, give me a me in the chat. Cash them out, D. McGrath. Murray throws it into Jokic. Jokic guarded by McBride. Spins baseline. Kicks it out to Gordon. Gordon to Mur uh, Porter Jr. Three good. You go back to double teaming Jokic, and he goes back to finding wide open threes for his teammates. You just don't get it, man. Always make the other guys beat you. Brunson up top. Trying to create some space. He's doubled. He'll try to out-dribble it. Drives to the baseline. Throws it out to Deuce. Deuce for three. No good. Terrible possession by the Knicks. You got to get the team going faster than that, Brunson. Get them into the offense quicker. Aaron Gordon will bring it up. Gets it to Jokic. Top of the key. Hands it off to Murray. Murray's going to get downhill. Wide open floater. No good. Battled for the board of the Knicks. Can't they come up with it. Brunson throws it up to DiVincenzo, who lays it up and in. They're going to say a foul occurred prior to the bucket. Is that not a take foul? How come that's not a take foul and the other one's a take foul? What's the difference? There was nobody ahead of DiVincenzo. The only reason they fouled is because they were beat. What's the difference? What's the difference? That's a take foul. They fouled him in transition when he was ahead of everybody else. That might be a clear path. Oh, you know what? The, NBA, the refs aren't even going to look at it. The refs aren't even going to look at it. Of course not. Of course not. These fuckers suck. Brunson throws it into iHeart. Hartenstein hands it off to DiVincenzo. He'll rip through, gets back to his right hand, drops it off to Hartenstein. His push shot from way out up and in. Off the glass, that should have been and one. Eight point game, two minutes to go. It's now or never. It's now or never for the Knicks. Hartenstein with 20 points and eight rebounds. Murray behind the back to Jokic. Five on the shot clock. Hands high, I heart. Jokic spins, spins again, fall away two, no good. Tapped up and in by Gordon. Josh Hart doesn't box out. He's been awful. Josh Hart, you fucked the team today, brother. You have really hurt the team. Minus 18. Minus 18 for Josh Hart tonight. Brunson to Chenzo, his three. Doesn't matter, offensive foul by Josh Hart. He's going to have more fouls than assists, rebounds, and points. Michael Porter Jr., I mean, 31 points, 13 of 16 on his head. Josh Hart has been terrible. He knows it. As Aaron Gordon throws it down and one. Knicks down 12. Hartenstein's going to hit the showers. Very disappointed in Josh Hart. Very disappointed in Josh Hart. Tonight was the night you had to win with effort, yep. energy, and the little plays. Josh Hart's ready to get back to the East Coast. He didn't want to play ball tonight. He, he was content being 3-1. Three, three and one. Josh Hart exactly was content. 3-1 and one on the road trip. Now you're in the fifth seed, Josh Hart. You're in the fifth seed now. Exactly, Sean. He had two days off. Probably, probably spent that time game, um, uh, game planning for the pod, though. He's been terrible. He's been terrible. 
as Gord misses the free throw. Rebound by Achua. He'll throw it up ahead to Brunson. Knicks down 12 with 1.15 to go. Brunson kicks Dante 3. No good. Rebound by Denver. Ball stolen by Dante. Knicks have numbers. Brunson's going to drive. Now step back. 3. No good. He wasn't good enough either tonight. Missed a lot of easy shots. A lot of missed easy shots by the Knicks tonight. And that'll, that'll do it. Knicks aren't even going to foul. They shouldn't. They're down 12. Knicks lose as Michael Porter Jr. adds insult to injury with the slam. Timeout by Tom Thibodeau. Bye, Ricky. Everyone say bye to Ricky. Bye, Ricky. Bye. Bye, Ricky. Bye. Bye. Dude's mad at me for Josh Hart not showing up. Do you want me to lie to you, Ricky, and say he tried really hard tonight and played hard? Bye, Ricky. Bye. It was 88, 90 to 88. So the Knicks were outscored by tw 22, 22 to 8 in the final six minutes. 22 to 10. 22 to 10 in the final six minutes. Brunson, Brunson wasn't too good either. Brunson didn't play good either. Davidov in the chat. What's up, Davidov? Yeah, this is going to be a tough one for the Knicks to win. Look, you're going up against the champs on the road without Randall Robinson and OG. You weren't expecting to win. But the fact that it was a two-point game and the game was there for the taking, when it's a two-point game with eight minutes left, anything can happen. Um, their talent just shined through to close that one. As Braun makes the free throw, goes up 113 to 100 with 20 seconds left. So they go 3-1 and one on the road trip. That's better than I thought. That's better than I could have expected. Um, I'm proud of the way that they fought tonight. Proud of the way that they played with heart. Um, as Deuce McBride goes coast to coast and misses a layup, rebound by MPJ. He'll get it up ahead to Jokic, and Jokic will walk the game out. Knicks lose 113-100. CPJ says, I called 3-1. and one. You know ball, brother. You know ball. Danny McGrath, they played good. They played good. Um, Two-point game against the champs without three of your starters. Um, 
They just weren't perfect down the stretch, and they were going to have to be perfect to win that game. Yeah. All righty. Let's talk about it. The New York Knicks lose to the Denver Nuggets 113 to 100, and they close the West Coast trip going three and one. Just the unfortunate part is they are now the fifth seed in the Eastern Conference as the Orlando Magic were able to dominate their way to a win. And now you're in the fifth seed. Tough loss. Um, I love the way that pretty much everybody on the team battled tonight. I thought Ihart played his butt off 20 points or something like that. He was great. Uh, I thought I thought some players in the Knicks looked ahead to getting back to the East Coast after a long West Coast trip. Thought their bellies were a little bit full, at least some of the players, that they were 3-1. and one. But look, 3-1 and one is awesome. It is. And they should be proud of the way they played. Now it's about getting back home, getting OG back healthy. Robinson's on the way. And it sounds like Julius Randle wants to be out there too. Reports are coming out that Julius Randle is pushing the New York Knicks to let him play through his injury. Reminder, he did separate that left shoulder at the end of January. has not played since. Remember when the Knicks doctor said that he would be reevaluated in two to three weeks? Never believed the New York Knicks doctors. Ever. This was a quote from Fred Katz of The Athletic, one of the best beat reporters that covers this team. Said this, Behind the scenes, Randle is pushing hard to return. His pain tolerance is without question insane, as one person close to him recently described it. But he's human. Maybe Randall can fight through the anguish, but maybe fighting through it still affects him. Randall has a, has a warrior-like mentality. He doesn't like the word no, and he's, gonna, he's not going to take the word no as an answer when it comes to him trying to play through the pain. But as we know, Randall is going to have to play through the pain if he wants to return this season. So he's pushing to get out there. He's telling the Knicks he's ready. We saw him working in pregame prior to the game against the Denver Nuggets. He looked good. He's been working out pregame for a couple of weeks now. A little concerning. I think that he hasn't been even been cleared for contact because after that, it still probably takes a week. Knicks are going to need him out there fully healthy. A fully healthy Randall. If not, they could be in a little bit of trouble. Show Julius some love, though, man. Um, I would call myself at times a Julius Randle hater. I will stand on that. But even I miss watching him play basketball, and I know how important he is to this team in the regular season. And I know how important his production that is needed in the playoffs is important to this team. Type those 30s in the chat. Show Julius some love. Randall knows he's going to have to play through some pain, and that's why I think he's pushing behind closed doors to the Knicks medical staff to start letting him play. Because he probably knows it ain't going to get much better, and i got to play through the pain because doctors recommended Julius Randall to get surgery. They told him, yo, Julius, you're going to need surgery, and that's how you're going to have to get back to 100%. Randall said, I'm going to do whatever it takes to fight through the pain, do the rehab, to get back on track, I'm not getting surgery until the offseason. He did the same thing with his ankle last year. And I would say that ended up hurting the Knicks because that wasn't Julius Randle that played in the playoffs. And the effort was really bad at times, too. Knicks have just 13 games left in the season. Knicks have just 13 games left in the season. That is so important because Julius Randle is such a rhythm-based player. He's got to go out there, and he's got to get in groove. We always see Randall, and we saw at the beginning of the season when he came back from his ankle injury, and that's coming off of surgery. It took him a while to get back in a game shape, get back in the groove, get back in a rhythm, and get back feeling it. And he's always been that way. The Knicks cannot afford to have Julius Randall play himself into shape, play himself into a groove, play himself in a, into a rhythm in the playoffs. If Randall does not play before the playoffs start, I wouldn't – play him in the playoffs because I think it's counterproductive to have him try to work his way back up to full speed in the playoffs too high a stakes too high a stakes 13 games left I think he needs at minimum five regular season games if he doesn't get five regular season games I think it just gets to the point where you just gotta say hey get ready for August get ready for training camp 
Knicks can't afford for him to to play his back his play back into game shape and it's not even game shape, it's just into a rhythm, into a flow in the playoffs when you only get four L's before you're sent home and going to Cancun. My question to you is this. We'll get to all the stats and highlights over the Knicks loss to the Denver Nuggets. But if you could only have one of these guys be healthy, if you could only pick one to be healthy, tough question today. Who would you rather be healthy for the Knicks in the playoffs? You can only get one. Fully healthy. Is it Julius Randle, type JR? Is it OG and an OB, type OG? I'm going to be down in the comment section. I'm very curious what you guys have to say. We'll talk about the Knicks loss to the Nuggets around the corner. But first, I got to tell you guys about our proud sponsor, Prize Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app in North America. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use that promo code CLNS, and Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Now is the perfect time to play Prize Picks. The action in the NBA is heating up with the playoffs about a month away, and March Madness is here, the best tournament of them all. And they have awesome deals for new and returning users to prize picks. They're doing all type of stuff to help you win big money off your basketball IQ. Play prize picks. Pick more, pick less, play prize picks. All you do is create a two to six player lineup and you simply select more or less on their projected stat line. Win big, win big money. Withdraw your winnings. Pick more, pick less, play prize picks. I'll make sure all that information is clickable down in the comments and description of today's video. Support the show. Support the sponsor. We love prize picks. We want to keep them around. But we need your help to do so. So even if it means creating an account, putting five bucks into your account and using that prize, prizepicks.com slash CLNS promo code, it would mean a lot to me. All right, let's break down the stats. The Knicks were really, really close in this one. Uh, game kind of ballooned in the third quarter. Lead got a little out of reach, and in the fourth quarter, a lineup that featured Jericho Sims, Boyan Bogdanovich, Alec Burks, and Deuce McBride, as well as I think Precious Achua made a comeback. At one point, it was 90-88, to Knicks down by two, but the rest of the way, the Knicks were outscored 23-12. to 23-12 to in the final ten minutes, uh, five or six, seven minutes or so. Um, this guy played his butt off. Eight more points in the first quarter. The two-man game between Brunson and Hardenstein is really starting to shine through. Um, they're looking really good in the pick and rolls. Hartenstein is almost automatic on that lefty push shot from about 8 to 10 feet. And I thought he battled against Nikola Jokic, but it's just he played against the best big man in the league, and in my opinion, the best big man since Shaquille O'Neal. Um, there's a reason he's, gonna, he's a two-time MVP. I think he should be the MVP again this season. Not many guys go 30, 14, and 11. Um, he's special. And uh, that's why I think they're going to represent the Western Conference. And the next battle, I mean, look, no Randall, no OG, no Mitch. And you were down two points in the fourth quarter. I don't want to take moral victories because in life there's only scoreboard and arts currently reads loss. But I think there are things to take away from this game outside of just the win and loss as you weren't nearly fully healthy, down three out of five stars. MPJ was awesome. Knicks didn't have an answer for Michael Porter Jr. Um, no OG really showed through on that. It hurt. I didn't think Josh Hart really was locked in today. He could just be so good sometimes. And then he could be so bad sometimes. Um, this is a game that you were going to have to win with grit, grind, effort, hustle, bodies on the floor, wanting it more than them. And like Jalen Brunson always says, when he's asked, what does Josh Hart bring to this team? Tonight, he was just out there for cardio. Um, I don't want to be too mean, but it is my job to talk about stuff on a game-to-game -game basis. He was not good tonight. But he's also been one of the best players in the NBA since the All-Star break. But the lack of confidence in a jump shot is starting to concern me a little bit. He didn't even look at the basket against the Golden State Warriors. He didn't even look at the basket to shoot again tonight. Josh Hart, when you're open, just shoot it, bro. Just shoot it. Let the confidence flow. Shoot it. Because you passing up a good shot to get somebody an okay shot is not the best process. Josh Hart is very good at basketball. He is a key piece of this team. Simply put, I think he will admit it too. His effort wasn't great tonight. His attention to detail wasn't good. 
and the Knicks need to be better. If that offends anybody, this ain't the channel for you. Josh, I love you. I think we both agree, though, you played terrible tonight. We got an Alec Burks game. <laughs> I mean, you got 18 from him, 5 of 11, 3 of 6 from downtown. He kind of carried your offense in that fourth quarter when, uh, when Jalen Brunson and the starters primarily were out of the game. Burks was good. And it's, it's embarrassing for me that Alec Burks has been better than Boyan Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich has been terrible for the New York Knicks. He's made two three-pointers since April 12th. It's now April 22nd. Uh, March, excuse me, March 12th to March 22nd. He's made two threes in 10 days. Uh, I apologize to everybody that watches this show. I take great pride in being able to judge moves that the New York Knicks make, and I try to bat it 100%. And I, I, was, I, I had been doing it. I had been doing it, and I wanted to keep that going. I loved this trade. I did. I, I'm, I'm wrong. I was wrong, and I apologize to you guys. I, I, I owe you guys better. So I apologize for saying the Knicks won the trade deadline by trading for Boyan Bogdanovich. Um, I will try to be better going forward. Holy shit, he stinks. Deuce McBride, all grit, all grind, all the time. Nobody empties the tank more than Deuce McBride when he plays basketball. I love that dude. Keep grinding, Deuce. Keep grinding. You're a hell of a ball player. Make sure you guys are following me over on social media. I'm on X, a.k.a. Twitter, at MarshallGreen underscore, and also on Instagram, at MarshallGreen underscore. Back at it on Saturday against the Nets. That's a must-win ball game. That's a must-win ball game no matter who is playing. The Nets are a terrible basketball team. Um... I want to see if the NBA standings on my app are fully loaded. Um, Orlando, are the Knicks 41 and 27 or now 41 and 28? 28. So, yeah, the Knicks are now in the fifth seed. They're 41 and 28. Orlando is 42 and 28. Um, can't afford to lose many more games if you want to stay in the top four. If you want to stay 41 and 27, I can actually just check right here. Um, yeah, 41 and 27, I believe. So still, uh, I think they're a half game back of the Magic now. Half game back. Reacting to this in live time. So by the morning, all the stands will be updated when you guys see this video. Look, appreciate the effort. I thought Josh Hart kind of let you down tonight, not why you lost. You lost because they're the NBA champions. They're going to win it again this year unless the Knicks beat them. And they are the best player in the world. And we didn't have three of our best players. Sometimes it's one plus one equals two. But they battled. Two-point game in the fourth. Proud of them for that. Um, this is what it is. We'll be back Saturday. Let's go, Knicks. Hit the thumbs up icon. Subscribe to the channel. <sighs> William Burton says you can win these next four games. You need to. You need to. Brooklyn, Detroit, Toronto, San Antonio. That needs to be four in a row. It's got to be. That's got, if you have any aspirations of being the three or the four seed, you got to win four in a row. That's 100% right, William Burton. 100% right. Has to be 4 0, Tony. Creed says it's 41 and 28. Thank you, brother. Brooklyn, Detroit, Toronto, and San Antonio. Oh, I'm very disappointed in myself for that, uh, for Boyan, man. I mean, I thought we were just going to get more out of him. Getting absolutely nothing. You weren't supposed to win this game, but when it's a two-point game with seven minutes left, that's why they're the champs, though. That's why they're the champs. That is why they're the champs. All righty. We're going to sign off on today's video. We'll have a video out on the channel tomorrow. 
We will be live on the channel on Saturday. Cullen will be the producer on Saturday. Seeps will not be there. Show Cullen some love. Show Cullen some love. Be nice to him. It'll be his first time producing. Let's show him how New York Knicks now gets down. Yeah, William Burton, I know, but I take pride I take pride in my evaluation. I take pride in uh my evaluation on that. Troll, you are correct. I'm gonna knock down this boot real quick. Let's try. Yeah, Creed, we'll get to that eventually. Um, it's just with free agency and everything. We don't really have a time to find the rematch, but don't worry. We will get to it. Don't you worry. Ah, time in. I just got to have my two off days this week. Nah, those are, uh, those are happy days. I've been sitting out for a little bit. Yeah, dude. Water. Water bubbles up like this, big dog. Water bubbles up like this, homie. We appreciate y'all. We like our water with bubbles. Shout out to Creed. Shout out to Tony. Uh, all right. Uh, there we go. There we go. That water was good. Water was good. Shout out to everybody in the building. We'll see y'all later.